there is really what boundaries everybody don't pass the boundaries on the first shot yes yes that's true. you know it's hard to put up boundaries mm. and for this for this now me, me say boy jada really come out on top but in terms of how it played out but lyrically the one this track and how Steph started how Steph started it by mm. just because this all started by a strategic of changing a song to add her, her at least her nickname half ish twinkie yeah, are you yeah. me a chat so if I understand say, is that what riled up everybody you know so the excitement started with Steph London it's yes. started there as what riled up everybody you know so the excitement started with Steph London what people took that song yes. for it was a diss track mm -hmm. but she didn't diss you it wasn't made to diss it was a song that diss you in it different mm -hmm. so her okay. only opportunity therefore is the one that she launched, which was an absolute masterpiece. Yeah. And I don't, that, this track is not for, for people that, that probably don't have a certain level of education because it can pass you if you don't really understand all of the things them. but she, she did it like I could not believe that I've listened to this, this track 20, 30 times. It was like when Alkaline dropped the microwave and popcorn, boop, on him head. And it was, it, it, it was that. It's a, it's a, when a diss track is so stingy, but you can, you're still wowed by yeah. the vocal ranges. How did she sound like Jada Kingdom? The particular. You mm. know, like, yo, she went out of the box and that creativity was just sick. I'm stunned by it. No, if everybody want to judge the winning by who can keep on going and keep going for dirt and dirt and dirt, it's going to be an endless work. It's going to be yeah. endless. So it has to stop at some point. Really have to stop at some point. Where's I the think, point? I think it has stopped. Now. Have we reached the point? I, from what I've seen, it has stopped. But can we talk about the attention that this has it, given? Can we can mm -hmm. we talk about um and so much attention, Shellyan, and we need it. Dance all needed it after what happened, you know, at Sting and everything. We needed this, you know, and these two ladies, you know, have gotten the whole world watching watching them. So they can use this, you know, it's like a versus match. They can use this and make millions. So this ex, that is exactly what I'm saying. This yeah. could have made them millions, millions. in the, each of their pockets. Mm -hmm. If you had somewhere to subscribe, because everybody, I said this yesterday, yeah. would yeah. have got find them. Find all those who never want to buy music in a Jamaica, yes. we, we surely would have found a way to pay for watch the class. Yeah. True. That is so, true. so, so, Shelly, and I was saying where you, where, where you, um, where you addressed uh, Sean Paul about the issue of him talking about the clash. Yes, I think he should have sat this one out. Um, and yeah, I think he should have. I mean, you know, I'm the one that crowned him king and all of that. But not because you didn't come through the rings. Meaning you can come and say that this is you know for your daughter and all of this because you we, sean and i were at the same clashes together we mm. were hanging out as teenagers getting excited at bounty killer and beanie so yeah. and and we went there first and, 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 and everybody else early, in man, that yeah, era so, uh, critical know that the women come and you expect Everything to fall on, okay, we expect the women to do better. Why you never say that to Cartel and Movado? Why you never say it to them? I just thought that while this, res this, this resurrection of excitement into this rhythm and also the clash culture, because mm -hmm. remember, us, the, 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 the premier thing for, for clashes 
<coughs> has been sting. And sting bees them something wrong with them, them sick. Then so Shelly, Sh Shelly, do you think it could be more like it could be more like it? Do you think it could be more like him being more concerned about the contents of the clash, what is being no. said, as opposed to the clash itself? There yeah, that him say still, and that him say him that. I listen. So, I, I, you know. I don't think. So, I don't think. I don't think that is Sean Paul concern. I think the names that is being revealed as to the body count. And Sean Paul may be concerned that his name may call up in the body counts also. <laughs> I don't think Sean, Sean Paul is worried about his name being called <laughs> up. I, I, I think Sean Paul gets his name called up enough. No, mm -hmm. but with, with I don't this, think he has this, to fish for that. With this body Maybe. count climbing, we have to look at that. I think Sean Paul may be concerned about that. That's just my concern. But well, yeah, Anthony B talk, talk about it, you know. Worried about his name calling Yeah, I, I think it's more the contents as opposed to the clash. Uh, uh, because uh, uh, when you when you do listen to the clash, when you do listen to the clash, it sounds like the ladies are being so much more personal than it just being lyrics. Right, right. Yeah, the, the body count, <laughs> as I said, um listen, be, we have several male names that has been called out. And knowing the scope of this clash, the body count is going to rise like in Gaza. I'm sure about that. Right. <laughs> all that is going to do for the guys is just put another notch on their on their collar. That's all. Anybody They're not worried know? about their names being called up. They wish their name right. would be called up. We could be calling yeah. that. Uh, I could have called a name where really want the name to call, but I'm going to leave it. Yeah, um, but you ain't going to call Shelly. nobody's name on Silk Radio, yeah, are you? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Shelly. No, but um, my um, they put out uh, our next video now with this um, Lisa Mercedes. Um, I don't know if you know about that one or you're following that one, that picture that out the next. That is style of what, baby mother. What is the picture about? Um, why? All right, make banana. Jojo one. Yeah, no man, I know banana. I send you a picture, Jojo. Where yeah, all over his, his social media car is. I, I think is. Is in London camp sent out that picture card. They claim that um, this girl I give I give kingdom information about you know Steffi. London. The both of them oh, used okay, to park no, together. I, I, I don't know, know if it yeah. is a particular picture. I thought it was Jada. They said it was. No, no, it's a it's a girl in, in London. Okay, I I see, I see, I see. <laughs> Yeah, I, didn't, yes. no, I didn't have time to look. So no, no. So this no. I know who Lisa Mercedes is. No, I am saying what I was thinking because that means it's multiple pictures are circulating. Are you not following me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So because one released last night of allegedly think, Jada, mm, and yeah. I'm yet to see what your if this one is a different one. All it right, would make, be make, make Jojo, make Jojo send it still. Jojo, send it to me, Mekai. Mekai, DJ Excel says, um, she agrees okay. with Sean yeah. Paul. <laughs> and Excel, Excel no, no, said, the clash no, too personal. No, 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 I think, I think from a professional level, the panel has to get these evidence to scrutinize them so we can honestly... Um, okay, so, okay. Yeah. I understand, yeah. I understand, I understand, I understand. Okay. I, 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 um, um, well, I, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put it in a chat room, make everybody do. Jojo, you put in a chat room. Uh, yeah, I am I doing that right now. Yes. Yeah, everybody remember, get remember, it. And I send it to you, Shelly. I send it to you, darling. Yes. Okay. Um, Excel, he coming in, he, 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 yes, yeah, see, there are two of them, there are two of them, so. Um, everybody get it. Excel, you get it, and uh, Kambusa, you get it, right? Hola. And um, and Ras G get it. Now, and G, everybody select a K, you get it. Everybody get it in our chat room. The, the, the thing about I heard, um, people Here, saying no. is that... Here the dread, no. No, no, um, no, no, yeah, somebody no, no. just text me, somebody, hey, Ras G, me have to watch you, you know, because he's a man who, you know, ramp, you know. No, I, I look at the body count, and you know, I, I was speaking <laughs> to a very good brethren of mine incarcerated last night. I won't call name, and he's quite upset that, um, you know, all of this is pouring out in this sense. But we do love the clash, and um, 
I personally want to hear the body count because I know that dance all of a large body count was when it comes on to but, contribution in the business. You know, and, um, but you know something, the last big clash between two females, and I mean real clash between two females at Sting, that I remember yeah. to be a clash was was Lady Saw and 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 um, Maka Diamond, and oh. I think that was what Lady Saw used to stun Maka Diamond. She came out with with real stuff that was that went on with Maka things that she knew about her and that caught Maka off track and Maka never came back, you know? Well, so this is this what, one? that's what, that's why I think, I think this, the, the war is really too personal. I, I too think personal they should just put, yeah, mother, I think they should just put some lyrics out there yeah, and just yeah, mash yeah, up yeah, each yeah. other. And it don't have to be about who was zooming who and who took whose man, because now it also seems like it's about a man. Well, well I mean, it's easy though. Um, well, I mean, Kuchi, uh, it's kind of Kuchi, um, well, African, I, mean, I don't know about the African Ramakana. Birkin, yes. How much does it cost? Hey, Ras G. Ras G. Yeah, Rasta man, you know Ras G. Where you know about them back there? <laughs> yeah, because when I, when, to me, I got the clip last night, because what happened with this clash is that we're in a real time clash where everything can be punched up. So when um, Jada admit about the spoils and benefits that she collected from the <laughs> African food, I, I, I was saying that they're adding up the cost. Why that you call him an African food? Oh boy, you know, you know. Oh, my, hey, hey, my oh, man, so you know, Jiras G, you know. Man, I don't want the, the, the light to come off because as an as as, as entertainer myself, I feel a bit, you know, left out seeing that the sword fight is about the African fight. I, I want it to be about... <laughs> no, and you know something, at, at bottom line, you know, Ras G, I don't think it's all yeah. about the African dude. I think it's about what the African dude can do for everybody involved. I think that's because if it was just if the African dude was just a regular dude that just looked the same without all of those spoils as you talk about, then I don't think anybody would be talking about it. Yes. Right, 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 right. Well, I'm here. Can you give us a bottle of the bag? How much does it cost? Like twenty-five thousand. Lots. Lots. See somebody text and say, "Why we have to say African? Why you can't just say it's a black man, a black?" African. No, African, because the whole of you are African. From your black, you are African. No matter where you're there, you are African. So we have to call it for what it is. You we're know, all Africans. Well, not we. I was just reiterating what you were saying. Yeah. Yeah, I know. She was a baby from an African man, especially Nigerian. Me see that today. All right. Um, the other one, Miss Landa. No, Jada King Mom says she want eight baby. I may have it on um, on stage. They start play it out. Eight baby. She yeah. an African man and especially is Nigerian man. She said. Yeah. All right. The other Miss London. No, Miss London said she love African man and it have to be a Nigerian. So me no want to know what into Nigerian man over a West Indian man. So money you can tell me. and stamina. Their money long. They're no, no, I listen, money I listen long to the tape. I listen to the tape and some places that some of these brothers are going, we don't go. And I think that is the catch of it. But I won't, I won't give yeah, you a yeah. <laughs> yeah, you won't, you, you, you won't, you won't walk into Tiffany's and buy a big, a big rock. That's what it is. <laughs> So yeah, you won't go, you're right. You know, I go someplace <laughs> where them I go. go. And maybe, maybe them no, no, can't no. go. You're, you're probably, Jojo, probably them really can't go someplace where the you African man I go. You have Kingdom and you have London. Kingdom mm. might be go to Jamaica, born in Jamaica, and be with about 40 men from Jamaica. And all of them mostly artists. They can't buy, they can't buy Birkin bag. I never buy a Birkin bag anyway. Yeah. Where is it? Them can't go. Some of them can't go where, where the African man them go, Jojo. No, 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 no. Them can't go. You, Not even if they wanted to go, the they can't go. Down in Jamaica, buying Birkin bag, they can't afford it. They buy it for themselves. They don't have time to be buying it for girlfriends. Don't you see what's going on? Seven. Remember, I, seven. 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 Seven.
she got seven. So, so yeah, why she, she don't seven. use that money and buy an apartment in New York? You don't know if she do it. Well, you I was about to say, we don't know if Jada sold some of them bags. Okay, I'll see what she get. Whoa! I, I thought it was one. <laughs> I thought Is it was it? one. I, I, heard, I, heard, I, heard, I heard it was six. It's, no, it's one, then you got six more. That's a seven. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. No, no, because you know, then, then, then George, George would have to give up her property, yeah. her land. Yeah, no, you can't give up that. Yes, can't give up yeah, that. Okay. Yes, she'd have to give up her land. Yeah, your choice. Oh, that, that piece of land there, yeah, oh. and the land there, you know. Yes, the land yes. You can't give up neither, you know. Cause you can cook and you can be it, and you can cook. <laughs> you can do, you can be it. No. Like Shelly and Shelly and can be it, you know. And something. I don't know if Kambu said I want that American, but save my them. Whoa. But the the world, the world, the world. I'm gonna tell you something. I never see a war, local war, brought in so many celebrities. Um, Brandon is there. Megan the Stallion name is there. It's gotten international. Well, we know we know why Megan the Stallion. We know why Megan the Stallion's name is there. Why? We know, we, we why, know the Jojo? With that, I don't think it's because she was brought in all by herself. Like, oh, let me go over there and check out the war. She was basically like, you know, um, what, what, what you call it, collateral damage. <laughs> it's yeah, story. It's what... Listen, me, people. The body count is going to be very high. If it comes <laughs> that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, that's the all independent of body code. That this and that. that, 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 that. <laughs> Bounty would have said, People dead. <laughs> dead. Yeah, but boy, I tell you, we have a guest them for coming in. You know, boy, this could have talked for the next two and a half hour, boy. I mean, I tell you. Um, so, Shelly, not more, not more. Well, there is, well on this, this is the hottest topic. That is I know, I know. And, uh, Shelly Ann. <laughs> Big D sounded so disappointed. Big D said, no more, not more. You see how Big D yeah, loved the mix up? So, you see, no, we're watching, man. We, we, we like it, you know, because you see, too, um, we kind of know the mother, and we interviewed the mother already, Jojo, and me and her all talking at the week here, and, you know, mm. we don't want the mash her up still, because they start to her on the bus again, and... The other one now with this picture yeah, again, me and her are friend again, personal friend. We talk, we do this. So me know them still, you know. So it kind of bitter. Cause too much things are come out, man. Too much things are come out. Yeah. Kind of the bitter. personal. It's too personal. I know, I know still. I know. So nobody knows. When you look. Huh? Nobody send Carlisa? Is that what you're saying, Shelly? No. No, nobody never called Lisa. Lisa put herself in there. No. Lisa, Lisa did a coyote. Lisa did a coyote on that one. Shelly, Shelly, you see, the problem is remember now, you know. Um, you see, I don't want to forget the backlash now. When you're not gone, and me and Mr. Mighty left. And then Mighty now nah, say nothing. And a big D, I go get the backlash. You know? That's why we can't well, say things, you know, and I don't want to say it. But she have to in it. Can remember, you know, the boy, the man now used to go out with Miss London. And then Mercedes, I go out with her now. And then Landon, Mercedes, and Steph London used to par. Like, say, 20 years ago, two of them used to do year dressing and do everything and follow. So she go in it now with Kingdom. So everybody know that. Oh, we never knew that. Not everybody. We yeah. Know. Yeah. yeah. You yes. don't go know. That's a first for me. You don't go know what we know. Okay. You no, know, remember with our England boy. Oh, Shelly, know. Listen, okay. you see, it's Stefan did check at the Shelly for the tea. Because I have a whole heap of body count for the other and nobody not ask me. They ask me, me not talk. You know, I'm going to talk. All right, I'm going to make Steph come call you then. Debbie. <laughs> 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 no, but Shelly. Then I'm going to talk. Shelly, I see that we are on the um, dirty money with him. 
I saw I saw you endorse the Emperor's new song. Kellyan, what's that about? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Guys, the new I want to tell you about the big bad song, LA Lewis. Let me tell you something. Dance all really nice again. De dance all nice again. Emperor is actually on tea time tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talk. Yeah, yeah. I along with along with the spring winner, female winner, that is Tuckens, will be on tea time tomorrow. And a brother thing talk over there. What time? What time? What time? Seven o'clock tomorrow. YouTube tea time with Shelly. The a different um, Jojo, time. What time is in England? Seven o'clock. What time is it, Shelly? Seven p.m. Jamaica. So that's twelve. Ten, eleven, or twelve. So twelve midnight. Mid twelve midnight. Yes. yes. Twelve midnight. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And um. And um. I, I mean, think. I think. Raga Rudy the on the rhythm as well too, you know, and um call up the on the rhythm too, but it don't get authorized, so I, I don't I don't know. And I am waiting on the authorization of Maka Diamond. Yes. Her sir. birthday tomorrow and she's asking for authorization. But me not think I think I don't think she should wait. I think she should just take it. <laughs> you want no, but she will, no, but she will get two, you know. We, can't, we don't want to forget Sophia's birthday, but take, she will take Russia it to them. Go, go authorize you later for, for Maka's birthday tomorrow. She won't get sued if she record on it and don't and don't and don't and put it out. Just put it on YouTube. She won't get sued for that. Oh, okay. yeah, she can go put it up on YouTube. I think so. All right, all right, Raga, you're here. Put it on YouTube, Raga. Cause I don't know if I don't know if I'm a Russian. I go um. Yeah, I don't know. I never know so the yeah, man, oh, the to know. Rhythm and to know why. Why? 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 Yes. I haven't heard anything from Shensi for real. Remember, she previewed it and then Jada previewed words and then there was another mix up right before. It's weird. Hmm. So Shensi, Jada Kingdom, so Jada Kingdom has been really a hot number from the start of this reading, you know. So there would be between Shensi and team. Throwing words at Jada because oh. Jada song was getting more traction over the little two, the, the, two of them link their piece and the internet was going with Jada. So Jada's been the center of the this rhythm. So she's really the winner of the rhythm, you know, because her authentic song, her song on the rhythm is very good. I also believe that Jada, in order to even, I think that in, in order for Jada to even get close to conquering um, Steph London, she needs to come out of that whisper. You can't be quarreling and whispering. You got to get up. You got to get hard. Her flow. We love her flow. That's her flow. The people, them love her flow, my love. Yeah, I tell Jada, it's nothing. So, so that is why a lot of people are surprised when Steph London actually, you know, went into Jada's style in terms of uh, of singing. That same flow you're talking about. No, she didn't do it because she 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 because she loves Jada's flow. She do it to show her versatility. She can do because she did so much in that one song. She made so many different changes, almost every four bars. All right. So people said she killed Jada in her in her Jada own voice. In her own voice. Yes. Yo, me I tell you, say, when Shelly in her car in her black dress and glass, hey, Shelly, yeah, man, me say, wow, a London, she a go for the no, you know, London. No, no man, London. me I think L London show more skill up to this day right now. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe, I don't believe speaking of body counts, more and more is going to make, to me, it's not going to make you win the clutch. I like both ladies, but I but right now I think I think Steplan Don is leading. Yeah, yeah but, I do. Uh, well, yeah, you say, but when it comes to the body count, it looks like 
if you get seven bag, seven bag, it look like something I go on this of here then, man. Mr. Mighty, body count is the, is the word of the day today, okay? Body count. People dead. I just copyright it, alright? Just, I just sign it up as copyright people, please. <laughs> body count. Alright. Listen, if we're going to judge by the Birkin bags and who we crash, just remember that Burner Boy bought her, bought Stefan Brand, the Rolls, Rolls Royce. So the right, people, right. No, I, I know that's what you're saying, Shelly, but um, I want it for true, you know, but you can confirm it. Uh, um, foot I say, him no believe it. And I'm um, Tony Mataran say, no believe. And no other flagger say, say, him buy a, a, a rose rice. So we don't But know. he did, long time. But he did. Oh, he did. No, okay, no. so I true then. He might jump in and say, I true. Okay. Yeah, but that's like old news, right? That's not nothing new. So that, that's a win for Steph because that's a more bigger collateral on the property that she gave Burner Boy. Exactly. Oh, okay. And please, okay, guys. Please. Well, if that's the case, then would have, it would have been a win, win from the start for Steph Landon because she spent a yeah, yeah. couple of years with him while, yeah. while Jada yeah. spent what, a couple of months? No, 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 a couple of months. A one month, a four weeks, about a couple. Uh-huh. I just four weeks. So I don't know it's so quick. I don't know it's so, so quick. So the man money tall, man. <laughs> When just a give him money, so <laughs> lad, the woman they must take queue up for there with him. So why they, so why Aisha and not jump in it and kill it to them? Aisha and I could have gone it, you know. Uh, Aisha, uh, uh, what about Sensia? I don't, I, I don't think that fight would be Aisha's. <laughs> but me, <laughs> me not think Aisha and I go care. Yes, me think she fi queue up for the man. Don't worry about the clash. <laughs> you know something? I feel like Aisha and I. Aishana wouldn't even bother with the girl with the next girl. She just goes straight to the guy and keep it moving. Anybody Aishana exactly. So don't play with my girl. Yeah, cause she pretty and them, you know. I mean, I tell no so lie. what about she what, what, what about your favorite yeah. Big D? You know, mean some Sensia, Sensia. No, no man, I Aishana, my girl still, you know. See, no? not Sensia, not Sensia. So which yeah, Sensia, but Aishana. Huh? Who is fifty-one years old? Um, the the, the picture where you get the picture you get that is uh, Lisa Mercedes. So oh, Lisa yeah? is older than me and can I tell him? Well, I saw I saw I saw I saw the picture say so. Um, you have to go find out, Shelly. You have to go dig more for find out. Well, when I hear that, that, when I hear that today, say she has fifty-one. I tell somebody say I like her. She look about thirty-five still. So me no know. If she are 51, she look after herself. And as somebody where me know personally. Somebody where me meet personally, I should say. Mm. Big D, I don't understand this picture. What is this? What is this? What is this? Hmm? What is this? I don't understand the picture. What is? What is? What is? I don't know, sir. Show, show it to the audience. Um, Krambos, I ask them. No, I'm not show them. Next one text go come in. No, I'm like, no, no, no. I, I, think I think that one went over your head, but. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, hey, Jojo, to where we are going, you know, all I guess them are weird, you know, Jojo. Well, I, I think it's time. I think it's how we say goodbye to Shelly and then, because if we if we keep Shelly on the show, we'll never get it, get it done. Because at gets... 11 o'clock, no, you know, at the first chili and they will yeah, lose so long. Listen, the first, no, man, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we know, we You're seeing balls and other things happening, but next week we'll have to get into it. I know the clash, so we have a whole leap of bugger bugger to talk to. We have more people. Tell you, all right. May I tell you, okay, um, next week we're supposed to have Shubada, Shibada, we are going to try have a mother, we have Angel, we have Stasis. We have Ninja Food for next week. It, it show jam pack. Richie, Jesus. Richie Spice are weird. Enough people next week, you know. So, so I don't know where I go to. All right, so tonight we tell the linkage where they can find you and what to do next and all of yeah. that good stuff. All right, so please go over to YouTube, Tea Time with Shelly and Coran. Please press subscribe. 
<laughs> and I like I like that I like that um I like that shots and that that swim we are you know Shelly. So make them run. Will, will, the will you let her will you let her tell the people where they can find her? <laughs> <laughs> I told them, I told them. So guys, talk again, on. Shelly. Talk again. Tell them again, Shelly. Tell them again, Shelly. YouTube, just punching tea time with Shelly and Coron. New episode drops tomorrow, Pure Bomb. And of course, we have the inside scoop on The Clash right here tomorrow on YouTube. All right, and Ellie Lewis will be on. All right, Ellie all right, Shelly, and thank you so much for the tea. Sip, sip, sip. What's that? Um, and I'm more, more, I'm doing must up already, but the, Mr. We're not have time for this. All right, I'll later. three weeks. Are we, 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 Oy, oy. What did she say? I, I, I missed that. I missed that. No, do we, do we, do we, and um, more, more mash up already. So quick, like so that's like forty-eight hours. Oh, that's so. That's big news. That's big news. Oh my gosh! Come on, Jojo, stop it. Big news. No, sir. So, 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 Jojo, you expect somebody to break up in like forty-eight hours? They were just like with do with do with do Yes. <laughs> so who uh, want put money on it? He might go back a queen. Who say? Where you say? Ooh. Where you yeah. say? Who? 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 Yeah. So I say yeah. Queen, you take him back. So, so queen, you yeah. really take him back. Queen, you take him back. Of course, it's, it's her husband. Jesus. Yeah, exactly. Hey. Mister Mighty. My love, still created. I swear, I love the UK league. <laughs> I, I yeah, so everything up happened first. You know. <laughs> wow. Mr. Mighty, I think before you get us all. We're meant to be going for the ad break, but. Um... Break. Yes, I think so. Before you get us all in trouble. <laughs> 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 I don't never go down silk radio for the <laughs> for the net. <laughs> never said like no, that radio station too mix up more mix up than um Mota Massi and more mix up than you know what I mean? Yo. Right. All right. Um give it two minutes and the ad breaks will be up. Go on chat, man. Go on chat to the people then. Two minutes. Yeah, man, I'll try it. Um, you know, so many of us store the number. Um oh god, I not talk to you in our sleep. I never asked well, the, the youth number, you know. But may have him uh, still. Look, I, have, uh, uh, oh. I forgot to try Okay. Um, have, you know we're on the air, that. right? Serious? Yes, we're on the air. Mm. Uh -huh. So nobody pick, me, nobody pick their nose right now or anything like that because we're on air. Thank you, Jojo. Let You're welcome. You. <laughs> Yeah, big up Excel. Yeah, man, Excel, I listen to you. See that chat too. Yeah, yeah, big up yourself, Excel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Big up yourself, Excel. Mm. Excel, one time about the clash. Excel, one time. I want the clash again, Jojo. Um, yeah. um, I can't keep it all in my head. You have to send me the things so I can see them. Um, You know, I think Kambusta fast. And Kambusta, um... That uh, can, if if me store it now, now will come up on my phone. Um, What's that? Hold on. No, the number. Kambusa, me send that number here to you. Store it there for me, please, and call him. Can we should I do this from? Oh, see, not call him. Send back in number. Jojo, um, Jojo, you get Kambusa, you get it. All right, we're going. We're going for the ad break. So we're going off yeah. the air now. Ad break time.
Phantom Motor represent the Silk Radio UK. And now a word from our sponsor. Yeah, Party time! Super Jam in association with VibesFM.net and TT Removals presents the year-to-year birthday batch for Danny Ernie. Bright colours, the green and white edition on Saturday, January 13th at the KLM Centre, Bruce Grove, London, N17, 6UR. Buffet show and dance from 7 till 4am with comedy by New Sensation. Then we, PA by JJ Born to Sing, Compere, Danny Ernie, DJs, Countryman, Senator B, Christos and Martin Winter, Jimmy Magic and Studio One. Tickets for Buffet show and dance, £50. Show and dance only, £35. Dance only, £20. From accesstickets.co.uk Get your tickets.co.uk And Eventbrite Call 0777 For more information The Chill Spot Each and every Friday Is London's number one Friday night out At the iconic venue Porky's Wine Bar 24 Sterno Avenue Streatham SW2 We give you the best in party vibes Your host Mr. Mighty And Gary Aftertar Plus special guest DJs on rotation Doors are open from 10pm until late Come down early and enjoy our happy hour before 11.30 and enjoy two drinks for the price of one, which includes our delicious cocktails. Come down and celebrate your birthday with us and experience our superb birthday packages. Admission, £5 before midnight, £10 thereafter. The chill spot, the right spot, every Friday. For more information, call 077-291-90026. Saturday, January 13th, 2024. Won't be normal when SilkRadioUK.com presents The Clash. Glenn Washington versus Mikey Spice in a tune for tune clash. clash. In peace and harmony And born again Ooh, and free from sin Starting at 2 p.m. in the UK 9 a.m. in the USA And in Jamaica 9 a.m. It's the Clash Talk Show Don't miss it Sponsored by JojoMadMusic.com Silk Radio, turbulence the future, Finn, that's it. You want me to tell them, say, I could have been one of the most notorious. All right, to the world. First artist. All right, so. Ready for the first artist. So we're, we're, we're still waiting for the first artist. We're still trying to contact him. So link is going all tight. You know how, how the thing go. Should uh-huh. I play his track? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'm gonna play an old it but good it from See yesteryear. Everything. Nice. It's popular tune from them time then. Bet you didn't know that I'd live without you. Bet you didn't believe that I'd I'm not live getting him you know. Well, if you thought this love would last forever. Bet you didn't know that I'd live without you. Bet you didn't believe that I'd make it. This love would last forever Then baby I've got news for you Baby I've got news for you I've got news for you I've got no over you I'm not in love with you I'm been through the fire through the rain But I live I would always love you 
then baby I've got news for you Baby I've got news for you I've got news for you I've got in love for you I'm not in love with you I've been through the fire through the rain but I live So our very first guest for the night is on the line right now. And because time is running, we're now got itch, you know. We'll live to love again. Bad artist on the line goes by the name of Shalom. And Jojo Matt, take it away. Yes, yes, Shalom. Welcome to the UK Artist Link Up Show. My name is Jojo Mac. Yeah, blessings. It's all like you're moving a slow motion or shallow. Shallow. Oh, you don't feel so well today. I'm s- um, yeah, sorry. Man. Well, I'm sorry. Well, by the time you, you get back. off with us, you. you're... In Georgia? Like we not feel well. Where you are with you? We can't make us. Can, can you manage long enough for for the interview, or do you want us to reschedule you? Because you know, no, Jojo was gonna get right into it, but somebody else have a heart. Could, what a shame! I'm so sorry. And, 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 and we're full of life, Ronnie. Okay. Yeah, sing, but we can't sing. All right, all right, all right. All right. As a matter of fact, like I was saying, welcome to the UK Artist Link Up Show. I have to tell you that Mr. Mighty was just saying that this is one person that he would love to get a, a dub plate from. Oh, no problem, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so big up yourself. So tell no us who respect. Shalom is, because, you know, every day our audience broadens and, you know, there are some people out there always, a few of them who don't know who everyone is. So give us a little quick synopsis of who Shalom is. Well, Shalom, you know, is a young reggae artist birthed on the scene in 1997, with a hit song named Baby, I've got news for you. You know, I was a member of the Human Promotion, you know, family speak a little louder into the phone if you can or get a little closer to it yeah i was can you hear me now Mm -hmm. yes that's better yeah um shalom is a reggae artist um burst on the scene in 1997 you know it is my first hit single baby i've got news for you right Mm-hmm. Was a member of the Youth Man Promotion crew from in the 80s coming up. Youth Man Promotion. So you came, under the, t- you came under the tutelage of, of Sugar Minot. Of, of Sugar Minot, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, and Sugar Minot took me all over the world, you know. Um, mm-hmm. But in 97 now, you know, that's when I, I begin to break off to do my solo career because I was singing harmony with him also all over okay. the world you know, and all the shows yeah so you know um, and then news for you it in 97 and then I begin to to just do you know my solo career so right now I'm working on just finish an album with creation label you know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, a few of the trucks right now to play, I guess. So, you know, you're gonna hear. All right, some, well, you some, know, it's a panel some, of us, it's a panel thing. of us. So, we all have a lot of questions to ask you. I don't know what is inside yeah, these man. guys' heads, they always have a new, uh, uh, myriad of questions for everybody. So, let me, <laughs> let me ask you one last question before I pass you on to one of them. Right. Um, where did the name Shalom come from? Well, the name Shalom came. Came from um, my producer Phil Mathias. Phil Mathias, he was the one that produced the Boris Gardner. I wanna wake up with you. Yeah, that right. song. You know, yeah, he 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 was the one that gave me the name Shalom because I was going under the name Steve Harper. You know, in those days, 
you know, and then he said, Steve Harper has a whole English magazine, you know, so the Harper magazine, so <laughs> he said, oh, but so I'm going to try to find a, a, a name for me, so that's how he, he found the name Shalom, and he said, it kind of suit me because I'm a peaceful brother, you know, yeah. Okay, are you more into 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 the gospel or or secular? Well, I'm into music. You know, music, um, truths and rights, reality. Mm. You know, singing the gospel. You know, all my music are gospel because it has a message. You know? Message of love and peace and yeah, man, licking out against certain things and just just uplifting the people, man, opening their eyes to what is going on around us. All right, I see my guys are ready to take take over. So I'm going to pass you on so that, you know, they can get some questions in as well, all right? No problem. Blessed, Thank you Shalom. So much, Jojo, Go ahead. Blessed. Yeah, man. So we're there. My name is Mr. Mighty. Welcome to the UK Artist Link Up. Yes, Mr. Mighty. Thank you for giving us some of the history. And telling us, you know, it's good to hear where you, you know, kind of schooled and came from and came through. And um, at some point, I guess you decided to sort of trod on your own and do your own thing. And then you got the big hit with I've been, um, baby, I got news for you. Big tune, big tune. Still loving that tune. Every time it dropped, it dropped like a bomb. Um, what has happened you know, from that time till now, have you still been putting out tune consistently or have you taken a break? What's been happening? Because as a selector, as a, as a radio disc jockey, I've not had a lot of works from you. I've had little bits of pieces throughout the time. But, you know, what's happened well, between that time and this time? Well, what happened between that time and this time is that I, I, I gave my life to the Lord and I got saved, you know. Okay. I got saved, you know, gave my life to the Lord and serving the Lord still. Yes. You know, I'm still in the church, you know. Um, but but the music, 19, uh, 2019, right? Yeah. 2019, I, I, met back, I met up back with a friend, you know, Kashima Steel, uh -huh. you know, in the UK there. Um, I've known him for many, many years. So he says he 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 sent me a rhythm, you know, the song name I Rise. That was the first song I I, I did from the from the album Till I Made. Yeah. So 2019, I I begin to I begin to voice again, you know, I begin to voice again, you know, because I I I wanted to sing music that that is relevant not only for church but also but also for the people at large yes you know because i want i i i, I have a message yeah, yeah mr mighty we have a message that it seems that the music it seems that the music is very it, the music is very effective and it is what is causing the problem in the world today you yes. know what I mean? Yes. That's what that's what I know. I know that because everything the youth them PJ and, 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 and that's what the people them are do. So we can channel them, you know what I mean, in, in a in a different way. Yes. You know, then we can then be, because you remember now, when when Bob Marley and Peter Touch and Jacob Miller and them and them, Dennis Brown and Sugar Miner and you know, Luciano and all these singers were, were you know, doing the, the music and they, they were playing yeah. on the radio. The youth, them are a more conscious concept. You know what I mean? Of the deal with things. No, the youth, them don't have that. You know, and like you're not hearing those, and you're not hearing those music on the radio again. Is this what you're saying to me? You're not hearing nah, them. You're not nah, hearing them. No consciousness. All you right. understand me, and it's not like conscious music is not out there in the Miss Almighty. No, you know definitely, I mean? it's I, out there. Yeah, you know what I mean. And 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 so I did a, I did an album. The album completed um, last year. Yeah. Entitled Taylor Made. 
tailor made. So I've been working on that all through COVID. All through COVID, I've, I've been working on this album. You know, and the album ready mix and everything. You know what I mean? So right now, right now we're waiting on a deal. Right now we, we're discussing we're discussing a deal with a company. Right now, don't, don't want to call any name. Yes. You know what I mean? But All right. They, they don't talk. To, yeah, to, don't they, talk it. Just make it happen. And then when you get the news and it. everything are going, you come back yeah. right here at, you know, the UK right. artist link up so, and you tell me all about it yeah, again. Man. You understand? Yeah, Say it did manifest. Yeah, so Say it did manifest. You know so what I want to do for you, Shylom? I want to play Taylor right. Made, the track, the title track of the album. Right. Yeah, but, man. We'll say, run it. Yeah, man, run it, man. Back. All right. Before I run it, just tell us a little bit about the tune. Tell us your inspiration for this particular tune. And the title of the song. album. Yeah, this this song is the title of the album. And it's a very inspired song by by the law. You know, um, this song is telling you about how great God is. You know, um, Telling you that we must love each other because we we were all created by the Creator. You know what I mean? We, we were all tailor made by God. All right. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, man. So that's what the song is all about. Individually tailor made, right? That's a bespoke business. Yeah. All right, then let's listen to the tune, and then I'll hand you over to um, Cam Booster. Will take over after we listen to a bit of this tune. It's gonna be a treat. Yeah. Keep your heart beat. You made them all Herbs in the fields Fishes in the sea They were all prepared for mankind to feed Winter snow Skiers love it so But when summer comes Everybody knows hey, You send the breeze that's blowing Take it away, Cambusta. Thank you so much, Mr. Mighty. Shalom. This is DJ Cambusta. Pleasure having you finally on the UK Artist Link Up Show. Yeah, man. Respect, Cambusta. Respect every time. Um, yeah. Taylor Mead, um, is this album out as yet or is it still going, you know, through getting it out there? Yeah, it's still going through the process because you know um, the the process. You know, it kind of take a little. It, it, it kind of take a little time to okay. get things together. So you know, we're just waiting for it. Okay. You know, to, to get through that gate before it hit, it will be um, fully launched. Though. Yeah. Perfect, Mister Mighty just dropped the title track, Taylor Made. Yeah. That single out though. No, it's not out. It's oh, not oh. out. Um, um, this is the life is out. Tyranny is out. Um, I rise is out. Yes. And um, yeah, those okay. are the ones that I put. Yeah. Good. Because I want our listeners to know that they can still get a part of the album, the singles that are already out. So this is very, very good to know. That's right. That's right. Perfect. Well, so apart from the album, Shalom, you know, it's a new year. Um, yeah. A lot of your fans, a lot of our listeners here you know, would love to know what is next for you. How does performances um, look for um, for 2024? Well, performances, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward <laughs> to come here, I don't know, to come to the UK. You know, um, 
sometime down in the summer. The summer. You know, um, looking looking forward for that. Mm -hmm. You know, um, also looking forward to, you know, for shows in Canada, you know, and America. Just trying to tweet some things, you know, mm -hmm. where those two places are are concerned because I've 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 already been getting calls for shows in America, even yes. for Mother's Day, you know. Oh. So, yeah. um, you know, but, you know, we have some things to take care of. So we have to take care of these things first, first. you know, before we start to, um, yeah, to rule. But, you know, otherwise from the album, I have songs coming out, you know, songs are coming out from, from different producers also. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I have a song release um, in London, in, in, in London, mm -hmm. a song named Bagger You. A song named Value You, you know? Value You. You know? Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Value yourself. You know, nobody not going to love you more than you love yourself, you know? So, that you know, I have a song that released in March, March last year, mm -hmm. you know, and the jam is You're my you know, sweetest. You know, I have a few, I have, I have, I have a lot of singles came out, you know, world, the world is in trouble. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, if, if you go on my, if you go on my, um, on my YouTube page, you know, Shalom Music Space Official, mm -hmm. you will you will see all those videos, you know, that is that is on my my page, you know. You know, and 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 one one of my gospel songs, you know, Daddy Not Dead, you know, that I I produced that one. You know, me daddy not dead, yeah. So um but there's Look a lot of things going on. A lot yeah. of things music gonna be coming. You know, after this album, you know, mm -hmm. and 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 you know, it's 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 just more work. Start writing, you know, for the next album already because you know I told my producer I said I don't want to wait, I don't want to sit and wait for 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 deals to begin to write. I'm writing no, you know, and the music that I'm writing that I'm inspired by the Almighty God to write is not it's not the normal music, mm -hmm. you know, it's not. It's not no feel good music. Is music that is gonna live forever, you know? Yeah. So, that, that well, is when you say it's not feel good music, I think you really exactly mean. What you want, Shalom, so. Kudos to yeah. that music that we yeah. live. On. We don't want anything you know sing today, dead tomorrow, no. So yeah, I think yo, come booster. <laughs> you know, say me feel like yeah. when him say. It's not feel good music. I don't think it mean it's not feel good music, but I feel it mean it's not just feel good for today and now feel good tomorrow exactly. music. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, true, 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 true. You are gonna feel good with it, but it's gonna make you feel good for a long yeah. time. For a long time. Yeah, for yes, a long bro. time. Yeah, All right, mighty. Same, same. Yes. So, are you producing? Any uh, our music for any other artists or just focusing on Shalom for right now? Well, I'm, 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 I'm really focusing on myself. You know, I, I, I did, I did um, two other singles on, on the Daddy and Dead track. Mm -hmm. One by, um, one by, I don't know if you know, um, a DJ named Avalanche back in the days. He used to call with um, Vibes Cartel. You know, he's no, he's no, he's he's no a prophet. His name is Prophet Paul. You know, he did a song on, on my on my single and the daddy you know, did really mal. So also did a song with Silver Cat. You know, oh. same rhythm. So those will be coming. Yeah. You know, because of a remix, of a remix of Daddy you know, Dead. Yeah. You know, hopefully, hopefully by March. You know, coming into the coming into Easter. I want to release, have a remix with Dean, man. Happy New Year. Yeah, man. And we're back. Looking forward to that. <laughs> of which yeah, man. That is Dean, man. Okay. Nice. Nice. Yeah, Wonderful. Man. If you have a lot going on and a lot, you know, upcoming. Yeah, so man. I'm really looking forward. Things, yeah. Looking forward to it. We'll be definitely going on your YouTube. Hello, music underscore space official, yeah. Definitely space official, know. yeah. Because <laughs> you said you have some music videos over there too, yeah. So yeah, man, a lot of music videos, yeah. All right, so. Rasji? Yes, yes, yes. Um, 
I'm right here. I'm Rusty uh, here. Welcome, uh, Mr. Harper, a.k.a. Talon, to yes, the Rusty. UK link up. Yeah, real so Spanish not... town youth from Young Street, you know. I want to give me an a, a, a excerpt of that um, song, I've Got News For You, because I have some question I want. But can I get a small snippet as to that song? Because that is part of my catalog right here. I'm saying the fans can't would sing, love you know, to remember hear. I'm saying, you know, remember I'm saying, you know, he's just telling us that he can't sing because he's not feeling well. Oh, yeah. music, music into you feel no pain. But all right, Shalom, <laughs> let me ask, let me ask the question. This song, I've got news for you. Is it a personal experience? Because the song resonates with us so much. Talk to us about how did that song really get out? What's the meaning of that song from okay. your point of view? This, okay, this song was um was produced by Phil Matthias. Um, he is also a publisher that got. I get music from from writers, composers, mm -hmm. and so he 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 got these songs from from other people, and he said this song sound like a song where where maybe I can turn it into something. Well, when I get the song, it didn't sound like what it was. I mean, like what it is now, it mm -hmm. didn't sound nothing like that. But I kind of when 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 I keep listening to it, it is it's like I felt. I felt what the what this what the writer was really trying to bring across, you know. Mm -hmm. And then um I I begin to 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 make it into what it is today. You know, um so this song was not written by me, it was written by a, a, oh. a teacher. You know, he he he's a he's a he's a teacher up by you. -E -E mm -hmm. I should I or I should say he was a teacher. He's now residing in the United States of America. His mm -hmm. name is Charles Edward. You know, and and yeah, man, song was it's, a really, I, a really powerful song because all of us go through these kind of situation, you know. You know, yeah, man, I, so I, I had to put I myself. Yeah. Yeah, man, I had to put myself into the place because I've been through many broken hearts, and you know, me say so I I could relate. And and see but, it in a way that it would really touch hearts, you know. But talking talking about broken hearts, you're are you currently still the minister uh, of the, the 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 international faith in action deliverance center ministry? Yes, I oh, say, yes, man. Yes, man. Preaching the gospel, man. Yes, man. And, and like, us a bit about your journey in that sense, because it seems like that has also helped to mature you more to communicate with your yes. fan base. Definitely, because you know, in two thousand and two, you know, I got saved. Two thousand and two, I went up, I went up in the United States to that show with 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 um with, with Bujo Bantan and the Fifth Element Crew, Richie Spice and all of them, Anthony mm -hmm. Cruz, them, you know, and um that's how I got saved. I went to church, you know, to take my girlfriend from out of the church, and you know, one touch the pastor man touched me, one touched. I'm a fall down in the church. I cry, I ball out for Jesus, you know. And me, I tell you, say, my life was never the same from them time there. So, you know, for, for, for 2002, for, for 14, for about 14 years, 14, 2002, mm -hmm. 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, man, for 14 years I wasn't really singing enough. You know, I I I did a gospel album in 2004 because I was saying to the Lord, well, you know, I, I don't really know how to sing gospel music, so, you know, if you want me to sing gospel music, you have to make me write them. You have to help me write them, so mm. it began to wake me up. It began to wake me up 3 o'clock in the mornings. You know, I was living in the United States then, you know. And, yeah. um, and just writing songs, writing songs, you know. The album name is Never Changing God. I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be re releasing back that album because it didn't get any justice. So right. I'm gonna release Shalom. It Shalom, this yeah. is Jojo Mike again. We're pretty much out of time, but I have a quick question for you. Real yeah. quick. Um 
I, I read an article recently that says singer Stephen Harper, uh, I'm quoting, better known as Shalom, who converted to Christianity some years ago, is moving back in the dance hall space, but is adamant that his mission is still ministry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, with the dance hall space being so toxic right now, how will you straddle the fence between that and the gospel? Well, it's just it's just to carry the message in the space, you know. You know, the important thing is to get the message out there, you know. So I, I did a gospel song, you know, and a, and a, and a dance hall rhythm. Oh, when the saints go marching in, and the slim thing rhythm, you know. So just to get the message in those spaces are very, very important to me. You know, I went to Thursday, I went to dance hall Thursday night, you know, and sing, sing there also. You know, just to get a, a chance to speak, to talk about the Lord, you know. That's that's just very important, you know, for the ones that will hear and for the ones that will be, you know, convicted or converted, you know, that's just well, the mission. Th well, that's a very good note to end on. Well, let the people know where they can find you on social media, you know, for bookings and stuff like that. And shout out, do you want to shout out before we say goodbye? Yeah, well, you can find me on IG. You know, on the IG and also Facebook, Stephen, Shalom Appa, you know, all of them, Facebook, Instagram, you know, TikTok, all of those. Um, you can get me, you can find me on YouTube, you know, Shalom Music, Press Space Official, you know, and um, I just want to big up all the fans, you know, that have been supporting me all over the years and still waiting to hear good music. You know, I'm very, I'm very, very, you know, elated and happy that I still have people that, you know, really want to to hear good music. I, I, I really, you know, just waiting, you know, to hear some music that will really touch their hearts and souls again. You know, so I'm big up Kashima Steel. You know, there in London, he lives in Reading. You know, big up Chris Chemistry Engineer. You know, mm -hmm. and all of the crew. Jaru Ben Son, big up on yourself every time. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Shalom, and come back again and see us. Shalom, me feel like the plan I go work. I mean, no, I know your plan, but me feel like the plan I go work. Uh, the most I is working through you, so continue to work yeah, with the plan. All right? Because I listen to the tune, I mean, no, I can't hear what comes. So I'm just looking forward to more. And more and more because I feel like yes, me feel like you are gonna make a little difference. Me feel like you are gonna make a difference, Shalom. You see it? Thanks, my brother. Uh, Thanks, do what you're doing. Touch them in the dance hall too. Yeah. You understand? Don't frighten. Yeah, make them yeah, talk who want talk. You know your works. And it's not your plan. Remember that. That's right. That's right. I'm gonna need all and I also need all the support from you know from you guys as this jacket, you know, to just play the music and definitely continue to send it. this out there, you know. Send it. You know what I mean? Send it. Cause what I've got already, yeah, what I've got, I'm gonna be playing. And I'm looking forward to more. You know what I mean? So send all it. Alright, so I, I I I need you guys, I need you guys to just link me up on on, on, on WhatsApp. Send me, George, send me George. your your emails, and I send the, the tracks them to them. All right, we'll make Big D we'll, sort that out. We'll do. Bless you. Huh? Thank you. Art of love. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Art of love. Yeah, man. All right, Mr. Mike, they go to entertainment report. What the JoJo Macky man? All right, run late. We're running behind time tonight, but we've been running behind but, time. But, it's understandable. Yeah, it's just one of those okay. days. As, just as one as of them as days. As just one of them days. Yeah, I know. Um, Jojo, no, no, no chat. We don't do no chat. We don't do at pick. No charts. All right. This is the buzz. Your music news update for the latest on your favorite artists and more. Sponsored by JojoMapMusic.com. Hello everyone, I am Pistol and this is The Buzz. 
James Howard, known as Jimmy Solo, who played a key role in the development of West Kingston's music scene, died December 28th at the age of 80. His son, Dr. Dennis Howard, confirmed his death in an interview with the Jamaica Observer. Howard said he died at home in Kingston. Originally from Spanish Town Road, Jimmy Solo was proprietor of Shanghai Solophonic Disco, a stalwart sound system in West Kingston. He came of age during the 1960s when that area was bursting at the seams with music. It produced artists such as Prince Buster, Ken Booth, Stranger Cole, Errol Dunkley, and The Techniques. Jimmy Solo helped structure dancehall culture in this community, hosting a number of emerging sounds at the Jazz Hut venue, including classic Stone Love and Metro Media, all of which became major players. He was also instrumental in developing the Round Robin concept, where three or more sound system players at the same location and became first president of the Jamaica Sound System Association during the 1970s. James Jimmy Solo Howard is survived by 10 children, 21 grandchildren, and 7 great-grandchildren. Attorney at law and reggae artist Isaac Buchanan promises to make a full-on musical career while practicing law as he anticipates the release of his collaboration with Vibes Cartel. He said, quote, There is going to be more music after I free Vibes Cartel. I'm going to put out the song that I have with him. I'm waiting on that. I already have the song, but I won't do anything with it unless he is in the video. So when that happens later this year, then I'll go and do that. I'm excited musically. Music is my happy place, and I know that." the direction I'm heading right now. I won't abandon the music even though I'm still allowed to practice my law. Dancehall veteran Grindsman is seeking to further advance his career through collaborations with this new generation of dancehall artists. He said, quote, My biggest aim is to collaborate with some known artists in yard and overseas, all over the world. My fan base is huge. Even though I'm out of the limelight for a while, I have been gaining through Spotify and Apple Music and other streaming platforms, end quote. Grindsman is banking on his latest single, Rise, which was released on his own King G Records label. The song will be included on a new compilation album featuring other artists. I've been writing and voicing on my label King G Records from 2022. My wish is to voice on some new beats for any current producers who are willing to voice me. Grindsman recently released new singles as Here With Me and Solid As A Rock through online streaming platforms. He has also been doing some production work for labels such as Clinical Records based in Jamaica. In the aftermath of his Sting showdown, which ended in a brawl with fellow artist Honor Mossidy and being cited for disorderly conduct by the Jamaica Constabulary Force, dancehall artist fully bad as Natsadi undertaking a hefty tour of Canada who has been met with glee by his fellow artist DeMarco with whom the We Na Smile Again artist had initially been touted to clash at State 2023. Fully Bad's Canadian tour begins on March 30th in Toronto, followed by Oshawa on the 31st. He will then move on to Montreal on April 5th, then Hamilton and London on the 6th and 7th, respectively, and then a performance in Bar on April 9th. After a 10-day break, he will resume with performances in Calgary on April 19th, then two shows in Edmonton on the 20th and 21st, Winnipeg on April 26th, before ending the tour on April 27th in Sault Ste. Marie, Canada. Dancehall icon Beanie Man, whose given name is Moses Davis, is engaged to his lady British businessman Camille Lee. The Sima entertainer posted a video of the proposal to his official Instagram, along with a sweet caption praising Lee. He wrote, quote, 23 years in the making, but finally found my forever with Camille and being inhaled Lee's strength during difficult times and the impact she had on his music. He said, she's been my rock, lifting me up and supporting me through every emotional roller coaster. Her energy and light have brought new life to my music. I couldn't have done it without her by my side. Forever grateful for her love and support. I am Pistol and that, my friends, was The Buzz. That was The Buzz, your music news update for the latest artists and more sponsored by jojo mac music.com now here's the song now here's the song <laughs> here's the song i know the king of fire presenting for the silk creator okay keep the fire burning i know the king of fire presenting for the silk creator okay keep the fire burning i know the king of fire presenting for the silk creator okay keep the fire burning
you know the King of Fire presenting for the Silk Raider UK, keep the fire burning. The world is waiting, anticipating Silk Radio. And the realest, baddest, hot pick, Silk Radio. And if you know this. You man right now, what time we get the things good on? One rock of our right, one night. Sad picks, ad picks. Sure no chance this week, time I run. I so we're gonna run through some ad picks real quick. Sure right and then we got our next artist. All right then, ad picks, ad picks, ad picks. The world is waiting, anticipating Silk Radio. And the realest, baddest, ad picks, Silk Radio. But you know this. This is Ayasite, the late great. That was Ayasai, the late great Ayasai. He's gone, but his music is on. All right, Jojo Mac is hustling. Money makers, it's your tune. New on the road for Jojo. While you were asleep, I was hitting the street. Putting the work in, I was hustling. Stacking my papers, ignoring the haters. Getting myself in the lead. I take my turn at the wheel, I'm a driver. Spend my days in the field, I'm a planter. So much bread, some would think I'm a baker. But I'm just a hustling money maker. I stack my coins way, way up. Watch my bank account grow up. Fat till it buff, I'm a saver. George your mark with the fact till it buff to secure my future Jeez. take my turn at the wheel I'm a driver spend my days in the field I'm a planter so much bread some would think I'm a baker but I'm just a hustling money maker money don't fall like rain that's why hustle is my game I won't rob a money train that's why hustle is my game won't sell my soul won't It's time for 
So that was our very own Jojo Matt. Right now we keep it moving. Hot picks, hot picks, hot picks. This is Danny English. Something called Hush. Hush. Fish on every dog. There you go, Hush. Take with themselves because they know what they might do. Them to till lifestyle, man. How do you spell Hush? Man, we made that owner. So I got some no Hush. As you look, me say you're killer. Hush. We shake up the place like when you heard Craig Shook. They go at them, sit down on the road, and as soon as they them, get poop. Me tell them don't come around here I be a gunman with gun around here We and the girls them are up from around here And you're kind of accepted around here Them bag, no pussy can't talk Every bill and every shark Find a sea and chuck off The killer them no laugh Them corrupt and dark We've been playing this one for a few weeks now Danny English Whoosh Danny English I go on good It's been around for a minute But if I go on good, I don't like we got a brand new entry a brand new entry hot picks and you see that entry here yo that entry here it bad it bad it bad it bad it bad hey dj mac the magla is back walk walk on your man walk walk on your man me like how the magla is going i'm not lying See now my life, this is so much broke down Yo, Mac, them really broke me down Flipper Magala, a.k.a. Flipper Mafia Strike you up, no Him take off the Mafia off of the name, my Magala now Can you please tell me, O2, any CC for 20 I drive big pens and tank empty Send them one up, so rent them renty I wear fake Gucci, fake Fendi Rich from a young, old money man wealthy Still look good, so you know, so me healthy We got the Instagram crew Fake them plenty Logged in Locked on, we got the YouTube massive. We saw the mix cloud live to the world. YouTube live, Instagram live. Them really broke me down. No Silk Radio, the UK artist link up show. No dead man. Right now it's the art picks. This is Flipper Mafia. Good night, Audrey. The money boy can't get that. Bagel in your gum first, but so you're like, Brandy Sham. That is straight. Gala said them trade. Nah, make no money so them can't compete. Hustling slow so them pack it it quick. I broke all money and the girl them a speak. Shout. Wag war on ya man Wag war boy ya man Nine year me gone and them still a big man First in my life this is so much up down Yo Mac, them really broke me down Enough man I'm ugly enough fake me and brand If lightning strike you up, no dead man Fake watch <laughs> bitch It's time for Hot Hot, 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 let's wrap up the hot picks for this evening. We wrap up with our very own Tash Sheena. If you're logging on one of the um, lives, please drop us a letter, a little note. Drop us a hi, hi there, hello, yo, wagwan, something. Then we can give you a little mention, right? Wrapping up the odd picks for this week. New entry, Flipper Mafia. Tashina. Wrapping it up with Ghetto Lives Matter. Last few minutes of Thursday, the 11th of january we hand you back over to the team live 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 team on already we're ready 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 big up stinger yes. big up stinger big up derry benjamin doggy squid asman 
Boy, may I tell you, Parrot, Jane, Andrea, boy, too much call. Then tell them miss me and Jojo in a delicate, little, little Yeah, something, man. Something, tell them I said big hugs something. and kisses coming out to them right now. Yeah. yeah. A true time did shot today. You never deal with no ice cream today. business and an rare, rare, yeah, tete. Yeah, no ice cream. Yeah, yeah. They miss it, man. They miss it. They miss it. But oh, next week, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, Mr. Mighty, play a sexy danger tune. They make it turn up. Straight in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Sexy danger. Let's do it. And you know, there's so many to choose from, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to the hot thing, the hot rhythm on the road right now. Car. Sexy danger. They're yeah, the hot rhythm. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Russian. Buzzing. <laughs> Simply entitled Good World. Live to the world. Ready, ready. Lock off that big D. Yeah, man. Let me talk with the lady. Sexy Danger is here. Formerly known as Hi. Lady Danger. Welcome to the UK Artist Link Up. Wagwan Danger. Wagwan, my day. Buzzing, 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 buzzing. Jeez, me. I tell you. Right now, your thing turned up very loud. Thank you. Very loud. I've been listening to some of your tracks. Uh, Mr. Mighty, by the way, yeah? <laughs> Mr. Mighty from Vibes it. FM. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I've been listening to some A long time I want some danger tracks for play, you know? So I get, it come like me get a nice <laughs> little catalog now. And, and I'm sure you have my email number right now. So me supposed to get anything yeah. you drop as it drop. Mr. Mighty supposed to get that, right? All right. Yes, of course. <laughs> first things first. All right, then. So I, I want to take you back. I want to take you back. I was reading a bit of your... Um, previous interviews and stuff and just learning a bit about who lady danger is and me get to understand you know you were singing before you came to the uk you were like doing a little gospel thing in jamaica right i just grew up in church so i grew up in a church you know so when you're in a church you're the choir and all of that that me i say yeah so you, you were singing in so you, you feel like that was the cat the catalyst for your love for music because I, I, you know, from what I was reading, it sounded like you were saying that. I'm just confirming or making you disclaim. I mean, to be honest, uh, to be honest, I feel like my love for music comes from poetry. Because even when I was in Jamaica, I um, entered a lot of poem, poem competition. And for me, poem is like art. And, you know, music is like art. So it probably, um, all of that probably came from, like, me being an artist, like, writing poems. And, you know, obviously, song is like poetry. Okay. So you was writing poetry before. I mean, even while you was doing the gospel thing and in church, growing up in church, you was writing poetry. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. So you came yeah. to the UK. How long did it take you to find that you wanted to do the music like that, like like professionally now? 
Well, I've always loved music. And when I was in, when I came to the UK first, um, I ended up getting more established by doing dancing. Yeah. So I, I was doing the music, but I was very shy. So, you know, like I would go around and say, you know, probably singing at the barber shop them and stuff like that. But and enter a few competition. But when, when the dancing took over, it was just like, bam, it just attacked the people and straight away they gravitated to it. Yeah. And oh, and you know they the, the dancing kind of took over from um me doing the music. Yes. But I never kind of left the music out. But I was working with what people like gravitated to most. And it gave you a platform in the dance hall as well. Yes. So I guess definitely. Yeah. So all right. When did you actually start shifting now? from the dancing to actually being a performing artist like what 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 broke your what where was you you must have done something somewhere at some point and you said yes I'm, you know something I, like I that mean, vibe yeah. at one point to be honest i was like in a crew with style of me and the warning crew it was known as yeah so warning. um that kind of like put put a put me back out on the street as like a little group but I always wanted to be a solo artist so um, one of the first things was when um, in tone now when a bay came out it was um, that opal lady that thing the song was I tell you for quint me not quint my eye and then obviously I did like my own version on it and then the song kind of got blew up like yeah back in the people were like and so it used to be like a little vibe on the radio where there was like a few uk artists and they were doing like a competition but i've always wanted to be like a solo artist so with the group i was getting a bit of rec recognition but right. you know my kind of annual is someone couldn't really do the group thing <laughs> i like that so, i like that yeah. you know yeah so with a bit like I, I did get involved with a few people in the industry that was trying to push me. I mean, at one point, one of my first things, like, one of the first features I'd done was with Gringo back in them time. I think his name changed to Dan Mafia now. Dan Mafia, he's listening right now as well. Dan Mafia, I might bring him in later ah, in the show. Also, so I, I did, I didn't even like a song with Gringo then. Like I was just branch. Yeah. On. You know, doing shows like big up to my blog, so at them time they you know my kid that you know, let me out and no farmer like um promotion. Yes, yes. All right. Um yeah, and and my kid that's yeah, so it's just a history of like from years of stuff growing in the music, grooming at the music, but fully now for the past Dan five Dan years Dan really. All right then. for the past five years it has been non stop. Yeah, it definitely has. And I'm going to hand you over. There's a panel of us. So everybody want, you know, want to have a little chat with you. But before I go, I'm going to no, say, no. as a selector, as a DJ that play on radio, I've been watching your growth. And you're definitely, you're definitely grown as an artist. I can see the improvements. I can see, you know, where you've got your brand now and your thing are going. So protect mm -hmm. your brand. Keep doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? And continue making thank you good so music much. I'm get, thank you i'm gonna get some jingles over here too and some more different songs as well so you can see the whole dynamics of like sexy danger car you know we have the sexy side and then we have the lyrical so yeah <laughs> you know, we'll yes. definitely keep in contact for that so thank you so much all right then so i'll hand you over to um who's thank ready you so much. i'm ready and waiting cam thank booster you. yes thank you the mighty mute your phone thank you sexy danger this is dj kambusta how are you doing but i mean i'm blessed how are you today i'm more blessed having you right here you know long one interview you girl <laughs> oh that is nice <laughs> yes uh, you were a singer you know you've been you've been you've been doing your thing sexy danger a lot of people though they heard about sexy danger more even more would be that song, you know, that Queenie. A lot of people say Queenie this track. I don't know if, if that's how you you would um say, it. but a lot of people knew more about you or of you when you did that song um a couple months ago. But you know, 
I noticed that that's not the only song that you have. You have a whole collection and you are an artist that has been doing this for a long time. So I must commend you on it. Because a lot of artists, what I un understand Sexy Danger is, they get the, the limelight, they get the eyes on them and then that's it. They don't have anything. But you had, yeah. a, you had a lot of music. You just wanted that something that would probably let people understand that, listen, I'm not just doing it. So tell us a, a, a little more about why did you decide to, you know, go that direction? Um. I have been that direction many times, but sometimes when um, artists are of the same level, mm. the response might not get that kind of, um, like media-wise, it might not get that attention. However, Queenie is someone also that I listen on a regular basis you know everybody like a bit of drama um sometimes they are firing it plays boring and she's always on the internet um yeah. sometimes people listen on our car on the street and i was just in a place at one point where they were like a bit of teenagers they were teenagers and they were like it's so appalling her behavior um i, I want people to understand that i didn't like use um all right, enough for some of Bashar. However, like everything that was put in that song is facts. Wow. And even though them say sometimes you can't play with people emotion, I just saw it as a fun. And I hope that Queenie take it as a lesson to kind of like look at it as a song. Like, I them something I'm going with on the road, Jaja, you know, something I need for babe myself. So the song kind of came about because like people like, Obviously, you know, once you're in the media, people are going to say them love you. Some are going to say them not like you. So it's not necessarily that it was going to be accepted. However, the song kind of hit like a lot of the spots of stuff that she do every day on the media. So um, it kind of gave me that idea. So you know what? Everybody has blogger every day and cuss around. Why me not just put it in a song? And everybody knows that when it comes to call me, me never itch yet. You know? So I just use that, that um, knowledge and say, you know what? Yeah. Melissa all the time, so that come like ABC, and I put it the best way as I see the song's very factual. There's nothing that was put in there that she hasn't said, you know. And you know, the attention of obviously when you do something to Queen Shabo, of course. And I felt like if she had done it back on a musical level, well, we would have probably take over Sting, you know. Right. And the place was kind of like, like nice people were vibing to it. Um, the And, and it's as they say, sometimes you have to come out to your character for people know you because people don't really gravitate to artists who like are too modest and them good enough, but like lyric is like talent is not wearing these days. If you notice the media right to it's drama. So for me, that gave me a little highlight. And, you know, but when people do go on my YouTube page or whatever, they know like my history that this girl is hungry for music. This individual has been doing her thing. So just a part of her journey it's not necessarily going to be the stigma for say um you know get me a sting or whatever because prior to that i was out here on you know a show with like chronic law i was out here promoting another single called best love and that's like the softer side of me and i was getting bookings and doing my thing that was just like a little icing on the cake because people do prefer the drama more that's true yeah yeah sometimes you just have to you know please, please the fans if that's what it takes that's yeah and talking about Sting, how was that experience for you? It's your first time at Sting, correct? First, first time and first experience. And um, I have to say big up to the team and big up to Mr. Ling to get me thus far. Um, but I would say, like, if given the opportunity again, you know, um, I would like to probably perform with a live band because obviously that's what I thought would have happened and it didn't happen. So, you know, I just went back to the backing track. But um, I'm so grateful. Um, you know, like I said, if given the opportunity again, I'll be ready. Because like when you watch it and then being there, you realize that Sting is definitely a war zone. Sting is definitely like, it's a place to to put your talent out there. But um, if you notice, as we said earlier, and the whole point of it is to go out there and sting them. Sting all the men, the men, the females, and because it's a place where people like probably say, oh, she bad because of calling names and stuff like that. So it was an experience um you know that's performance wise i feel like i did perform a bit too early and then i still think i did great because people are not really familiar with me so to still go out there and you know 
people are like, who is that? And, you know, the feedback. Um, yeah, I, I, I appreciated it. All right. Thank you so much. Keep up the good work. Section Thank eight. you. All right. And I'll turn you over to another member of our panelists. All the best. No problem. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Sexy danger. This is Jojo Mac. How are you? Hi, good afternoon. How are you? I'm buzzing over here. <laughs> uh, great, great. You have been for a while now. You know, you, you, you just drop in the space and make your, your presence known and you've been, you know, just cruising right along. So congratulations because it looks like, you know, things are thank working you. out well for you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication. Okay, one, one question I wanted to ask, though, because I remember your name was Lady Danger before. Um, oh why the change? Um, you know, like, um, we, 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 we as a team has always been deliberating, like, um, probably to change the name. But then the last song I did before, like, the Queenie song and other so songs leading up to Sting, it was a soft side um, song called it Best is. Love. Yes. And um, basically, the song was being reviewed by Futter Hype. So when he heard the vocals, he was like, oh, my God, I didn't even know that this girl sing like this. I mean, I want to have the lady Pananian because she's too sexy and she's too this, you know? So, like, the right, whole right. idea came about straight away. Then, like, for two, we've always, like, trying to change the name because I have changed my name more than once, especially the danger. Because, you know, sometimes you see other people with the normal G-E-R, then I change it to G-A, then I now I went back to the E-R. Um, so... So the sexy now was just saying, but in real life, I do sing and I do sing and I do DJ. So you have the softer side of sexy danger and then you have the crazy killing side. You know what I mean? So like his idea when he said that, it was like, you need to change your name to sexy danger. Cause this song so sexy right now, you know, it's just showing like a whole different side of you. So as a team, we agreed and think, you know what, we can change it. Because the reason I asked that question is that, you know, I've, I've been getting some texts ever since, you know, people saw that, you know, you were coming on the show. And one of the questions they wanted to ask, you know, was why you change your name? Because a lot of people are under the impression that you had a sex tape at one point, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Right. So people were thinking that maybe you change your name because of that sex tape, trying to maybe um, build a new image that had nothing to do with it. Um I mean, definitely not, you know, like um, pertaining to the video being released and that had nothing to do with my career because when it comes to me as an artist, it's always about my music. It's always about being lyrical. I mean, when when people said I use that to, to get um, recognition, that way again, it's something that all and done with. You know, something, you know, I'm glad you mentioned Lisa Hype because I was going to mention her myself because you, you had pretty much the same type of tape that Lisa Hyper had. You know, so me not watch there. it back because I just said I learned to do the things. No, listen, listen, listen yeah, I understand. Back. Listen what I'm saying. <laughs> you had pretty much the same type of tape. And then, you know, after your tape came out and everything, you know, you kind of chilled for a little bit, but then you came out brawling and you were like, hey, okay, girl did it, what, 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 right? And you yeah, seem I, to be making mm -hmm. headways regardless. Yeah, but I can you tell like me the more... difference between you and Lisa Hyper? Because it seemed to be a downfall for Lisa, but you seem to be moving right along. Can yeah. can you spot the difference between two of you in that situation? Um, the difference between me and her is that that tape that got revealed, however way or whatever, however it got revealed, that was between me and my partner. And we are still together. So whoever released it tried to say that I was cheating on him. That's the reason why it got out there. He put it out there. But, you know, under no circ circumstances that would have ever happened because, you know, like if anyone watches that video, I look old and look like me, they and drugs. And normally everyone who knows me and my partner on social media, we're always trending, going into nice hotels. Oh, listen, so the, thing, do the, 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 the thing was a bit stressful or more. <laughs> listen, and I felt like my reaction at the time. Listen, we go to loads of nice places, and if you're gonna put a video out, might as your ear for look good, your body for look good. Like, I, you know, when I talk about that video, I cringe because what's on the media can never be taken back. And I'm a mother, so I, you know, sometimes you might go there and sing explicit songs, but when people mm -hmm. see you doing it, that's very degrading, in my opinion, you know. And for me, that's something like, oh my god, you know, no matter what you try to say and try to justify yourself, people are 
I will say no other choose to boss. Especially knowing like me, we call up another female and them say it's a cloud chasing thing. People will always say she will do anything for cloud. But one of me when come to music, I rather stand up in the middle of the room and speak lyrics even if it's a producer uh, uh, want find interest in me he must forgot to hear me talk lyrics before him take me across any levels because right, right. I am I naturally talented that. and I put years in this business for a lot of females in the UK but paved the way for a lot of them it might not seem as if you know and they respect me but I have you know I'm one of the females who go out there naturally and stand up with all of the man them and speak lyrics and represent for them just like right, when I was right. a dancer I the thing I've seen is that look, you're growing sexier and sexier. Have you gone to the, the DR? No, no, no. No, I can't afford the DR. No, sir. Oh, my God. No, but um, uh, <laughs> Georgia, let's, let's sexy. No. Um, yes. <laughs> some, some friend in London asks when you're coming back over, are you going to stay in Jamaica for a year for your career or what? Um, I mean, to be fair, Jamaica, watch Big D cut the argument. We are going to clarify this guy. Yes, you're on the green now. We are not on the green now. Thank you, sexy data. Me not cut the big data. Them did a beat my bad. Them did a beat my bad because I feel like with us females, the main thing is always your body and your outer appearance. For one, me not even know why my belly did look so big pants sting. Me not know if I don't want bees them. But everybody know me have a cock up bumper. And it's obviously, it's not, it's not natural. Cause if you know me before, you're going to know me was the skinniest chick on the planet. So yes, I've had, I have had surgery done and it's not in DR. And I do look good. However, not everybody has got proof of it. And it's not so, about the looks. It's about so the you talent. Tell us what you did. You can't you pinch us and tell us what you did. No, BBL. So uh, oh. Uh, you oh, know, so that's uh, where yeah, the, so the, the extra cock up from the bumper came from. Yeah, that's where my extra cock up something that come from on the back. You go, girl. <laughs> but as I'm saying, with, yep, with the industry, <laughs> when you put yourself out there, the main thing a lot of females do bash you about is your outer appearance. Yeah. And, you know, even though they bash me a lot in the start, they could have said nothing about my talent. Only you might get a one and two people, but, you know, they just follow the trend of, oh, she no look good, she no look good. I want you to hear what I'm saying because, like, I take my business, my music is my business, my music is my life. Yeah. And, you know, all some of us good artists is needed exposure or that one song, if that's the case, because, you know, even if I don't perform 10 today, I might perform 7 or 8, but that's still my 100% of putting in the work and you have to remember with artists that haven't got a, a song trending we have to work very very hard to get people attention for gravity to you so you know it's the years of work and even as big d just was asking me big d know where me i come from when it come to dancing me ever get a yeah. fight when i was when i used to be a dancer and me a dominate England straight and them are give me the most fight the same way and I've never given up on none of my dreams and none of my plans. So well continue to do what you do because you seem to be doing it very well. You're making your mark. Amen. And we wish you all the best. I'm not gonna keep you all for myself right now, even though you know I have a lot of questions. But I'll turn you over to Ras G and let him get a I little bit of chat now to you. Oh Ras G, Ras G, don't too long cause you know we're late, you know. And I'm kept on the pan line. We, we have two guests. more guests. We have two more guests, you know. We are Richie Stevenson, Richie Spice, yeah, and um, it's been a long time, you know. I'll go on six danger, everything good. Um, right now I'm buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. <laughs> no, sexy danger. My question is you put out one of the biggest songs the other day on the Ralph the Royal Queenie. And now we're getting that Mo and Dewey's broken up. Do you think that your song contributed to that um um departure from the marriage or anything like that with Dewey and Queenie? Definitely not. Um, but definitely, definitely not. Um you know you know what it is when you're in the me and they put out there Right? Eventually, anything at all that happens, like a break up or so, people are going to always find somebody to say, this make it happen and that make it happen. But the relationship from day one, which is not my um business to talk about, probably was a broken record. And, you know, sometimes you're doing something and it might seem like, you know, you're in it for the fun or the club, but eventually you're still a human being. So even though I've sung, sung that song, 
people might say, oh, she had bring down Queenie because Queenie realized that she couldn't answer back the song. So she started to use the victim card on that song. Even up to the day leading to Sting, I was told that I, I shouldn't do that song. And I said, are you crazy? I am going to go and do my song because that put the ice in the cake for me reach. Yes, oh. And if you look on life right now, on Sting, my name was called by another female. Straight away, I'm defend it. And nobody wasn't running with that. And if you look on the media now, as you see two other females that have bigger, bigger um platform, them run with that. And if mm. Queen did answer back, maybe right now this poor would have blow up and cause it's fun. Because you see, no matter where Queen is, even though people say she's not an artist, she's a fun person. Queen is a fun person. So you either love her or you don't like her, but you still have to listen to her because she's fun. But I wouldn't say Queen is beauty because. All right, mm -hmm. see, now we have, a lot of, we, have a, we have a lot of artists out there. One last question, because I don't like Rush because you love your arts yeah. and everything. Is there a possibility where, from a female point of view, you would do a combination with Queenie? Or is there any female artist that you would team up with and work with? Listen, I'll if one coming out from them good, me ready long time. And if I'll, even when me did do this song about Queenie, it's music, you know. If Queenie did call me, me da help her tell her some little secret about me too. And we just nice up a place and done. It's all about music. So it's so not what, so personal. If, so why if Mercedes call you? So why if Lisa Mercedes call you? Well, me kill Lisa so much time, to be honest. Me kill Lisa so much time. But if Lisa see it as fun, because what you don't understand, a lot of these females take it very personal. Like, them done me all the time. Them cost me shape all the time. Not even, one song just come out yesterday with another female that kill me off. I made up on her live a laugh with her. That irritated me. I don't see it as nothing. It's music. You haven't touched me. You don't put a finger on me. So it's the same. When Once the song connect, females will go around and say, she mad my me, she jealous of me. No time. Because you see, my talent is mine and that stands alone. So even if gangsta they want some lyrics, me I call gangsta and say, give some song with me because I'm a public character. Me we see and jump and laugh. Same way. But if someone is showing you that they're on a level where it's going to be physical and so you just keep your, your cool and just, you know, keep your composure. But for me, it's music. That's what music is about. We are losing touch that dance hall comes with clashing, drama, you know. So... But it's all I about the music. Definitely. Any females that want to work with me, I reach out to a lot of females, you know. So don't think... Like all right, well, on that but note, I'm talking about reaching out. Let yeah. the people know how they can reach you. Yeah. Reach you. They, they can link you where they can subscribe to you and all that good stuff. So people only can check me out on the YouTube sexy day. Captain, Captain, we're gonna we're gonna ask that you skip danger right now because we have two other artists to come on. Say no more, say no more. Thank you. It's called F E X C Danger. So if the sexy is not spelled as the F E X Y because that's a little confusing. So on the YouTube, on the on the Instagram, F E X C Danger. Um on the Spotify all of that TXT danger. You can go over there, you can listen to some songs from way back when. You know, you can see some of the performances. Mm -hmm. You can just check out everything. You can send me a message. Tell me what kind of song you want to hear, you know. Just just, just let me know what's up because I'm here and I'm ready. I'm right now in Jamaica and I'm right now as I finish speaking to you guys, I'll be touching into the studio because you don't know music life. Take up all your time and it is what it is. You want to find a good song so the people you know can just gravitate fully. And I want to thank Big D and I want to thank everybody on the panel right now for listening to me and for supporting me and, and you know taking the time out to find out a little bit more about me so thank you guys big up you're big most up. welcome and come, big, come big again up, the, the, when, when some more stuff pops okay yes and also don't be a stranger you guys have my number if you want any jingles or some songs sent over i'm here hi Yes, I take care. Big up yourself. All right, no respect. Have a good day, guys. All right, All right bye. All right, bye. Bye. All right, Mr. Mighty, go in a singing melody fast. It's a fast, fast. Don't last. Singing melody. Run a track. Um, Captain, go on, Captain. The day I listen to the boss and boss. Hey, Captain. What's up, baby? Got any got any bread for me, baby?
We seem to be having some difficulty getting hold of singing melodies, so we're going to go for a quick advert, and then um, if we don't get him after the ad breaks, then we will move on, because we got Richie Spice lined up as well tonight. This is the legendary Tony Ranks, and right now, you are listening to Silk Radio UK. And now a word from our sponsors. Minto's Restaurant and Bar presents First Friday, Open Mic Style, Friday, January 5th, downtown Oakland, featuring... The sound, pit bucket deals, and bottle service all day. Food specials, jerk chicken with rum punch or red stripe, $22. Jerk fish and steam roast gumbo with rum punch or non-alcoholic drink, $35. First Friday, Friday, January 5th at 412 15th Street, downtown Oakland, California. From 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. Admission, support the bar. First Friday. It's all about you and your music. Get your music catalog displayed for one full hour on Silk Radio UK. Where else can you get your music played exclusively for everyone to hear? In over 100 countries, over 50,000 listeners in one single session. Get your brand in the spotlight. Get the recognition. You to be exposed to a broader demographic. For more information on how you can promote your music and expand your fan base, call 011-44-796-192-0330. That's 011-44-796-192-0330. Or email us at silkradioukpromotions at gmail.com. You've been asking about it. You've been asking about it. Well, we're back. We're back. It's the Whites and Beach Restaurant. We're back. Up and running. Goodness gracious me. You've been calling. You've been texting. You've been asking. It's finally here. We're open for business. It's the Whites and Beach Restaurant. Home of the bad food. We're 
we're located right here in Rocky Point, Clarinda. Goodness gracious me. We're back with some of the wickedest, some of the baddest menu you can think of. Come on down. Make a reservation. Call us. We'll get it ready just for you. Hey, scan the QR code. View our menu. We're open for business. Whites and Beach Restaurant located right here in Rocky Point, Clarinda. You got a spot. Pull up. Go find a place. Hey, this is Lady G, and you're listening to Silk Radio UK. You don't know we are the baddest thing. No caring name, no spread, no Roma show, with no respect. All right, then. Ready. Now, let's um find out what's happening next week. Yes, well, coming up next week, we have a big roster as well. We have Kwame Ultimate. We have D'Angel. He'll be here to talk about how she mash up Sting. Yes, Ninja Ford will be here as well. And Stacious will be here. It's the first time Stacious is coming since I'm on, so I'm looking forward to that. Yes. Yeah, I'm the Clash. And the Clash, the Clash, the Clash. The next Clash is going to be January 20th, Saturday, January 20th. And it's between Glenn Washington and Mikey Spice. So, I mean, big things I'm, coming I'm, up I'm, for the year. Yeah. I mean, starting early, yes. The yeah. 20th is going to be the I, next I, clash. I, Mikey Spice and Ken Washington. Who are you carrying, Big D? Over there, you find Excel and Adassa, you know. Excel and Adassa control over the Saturday show. Oh, okay, so let's keep people abreast that Excel and Adassa are over there running things. You know. They have, they have a Mikey panel of their own Mike. over there as well. Yeah, Mikey Spice, we are carry, man. Mikey Spice. Ma- Mikey Spice. Mikey Spice. Yeah, Ma- Mikey, that's, that's for me too. Bringing, that's for me too, um, I mean. And that's with, and that's with loving both mm-hmm. these artists as well, so, you know. Two great hey, big, I'm here, Captain. Uh, McQueen introduce big, big, Captain uh, Kirk. Captain Kirk, where are they? Well, well, first of all, Glenn Washington have a whole lot more album he produced than Mikey Spice one. And... Mike Spice have a, a great voice, great talent, but a, too much, too much cover tune. Mike uh, again, what write a whole parish tune that, that became hit the number one all over. That's my opinion. But that, so now go, now go, now go, now go, now go, now go watch it. It's a good opinion, uh, and I, I hear where you're coming yeah, you're from. Right. The, the real vote is going to be based on the 20 songs that they played. Exactly, for each exactly. Yeah. I was going to say it's a good opinion. I respect where you're coming from, but. It's all about yeah. the tune. So yeah. if I, if them did if one write a hundred tune and the other only write twenty, it's only twenty twenty tune. So <laughs> it don't really yeah, it boil down I, to I, that. I, 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 and the I other thing is but, but that, that, it yeah. boiled down to what the panel a panel, you know, the majority. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be interesting. That's why I don't like to pick unless I really favour one over the other. I don't really like to pick because you see it, this this is a a, a nice a nice combination of singers but what captain kurt just said is relevant um i i go for original writings as well more than covers so i see where captain kirk is coming yeah. from you know what i mean yeah. exactly Maria, i remember when i was over there on a saturday i know i had to leave because I, i'm there talking stuff like guys don't want to hear i'm talking about oh that person was off key and that person <laughs> was off the track they're like you can't say things like that <laughs> but if it's true it's true that's why you left they couldn't handle the heat yeah they, yeah they, they could they handle the, the truth yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you, you can't talk <laughs> about the artists like that i'm like what if they're off key they were off key if it's a fact it's a fact no yeah. but you know about but who to attack a big singer like Ghost or Ghost yeah he's off key a lot in a lot of his songs I'm sorry I love his voice but he's off key a lot well are you say that me no know yeah you say that but I then you have to be musical away big D you have to be musical he has one of certain the most way beautiful. to understand when Jojo says off key you know if the rhythm's playing in a B minor and he's singing in a even in a, a, a B yes like, yes you know what I mean an upper yes. then you know that a singer's point of view is a bit different from your point of view and my point of view, Big D. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When when you know the keys yeah, true, of the music, music, you know what I mean? It it, it makes a difference true, to how you hear it. Where you think? You think that's true? 
I, I am so happy about the last clash that happened because Big D opened the possibility where we have three channels to actually get results, which is the calling, the panel, and then the social network. I'm hoping that they have brought that over to this next leg of challenge because then we have less hassle and less dispute. The panel can always discuss who is half key from who is not half key, but the fan base have a chance to interact and right. send out love. So I'm looking forward to Big D continue that those channels open as what he did with the last clash. But you, Ross, you better not go over there with this off key thing. They'll they'll throw you out. I, I don't really go off key, you know. <laughs> I go with profession. The twenty songs, as as what my brother just said a while ago. The authenticity of um, Mr. Washington cannot be measured by by Mr. Spice. Mr. Spice is a good cover R and B whatever singer, but when it comes on to the originality, Mr. Washington stand out very very much over Mikey. So I I'm I'm just saying, but the tweet is based on the twenty songs. But it, what is that? It's not even based on originality or not. It's based on the, on the songs themselves. And they claim production and, and voice and delivery, which I should set out in stone. What are the things we're looking, we're, we're judging these people on? Because if nobody decides what you're judging on, people are going to be judging on different things. And, and the, the result is not going to always be accepted. Know, let's, let's, keep, let's keep in mind that you're talking about two artists that also Fire musically belly. inclined. Mike Spice plays every instrument Fire in a band. Glenn Washington is known for one of the, the biggest drummer all Jamaica uh, and a keyboard a bass player as well and uh, and as uh, Mr. Mighty said that they, if it's based on, on on musical talent writing skills and things of that nature Glenn Washington you can pick 20 songs 20 top songs well uh, Glenn Washington as well too, you know that, that have been dom have dominated the, the, the musical industry for over the past 20 years as would, well as you say, could pick like 20 say, you could pick 20 to feel good songs from Mikey Spice even true, though they're covers but right. they're well delivered so it's 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 it's, it's a problem a Glenn Washington and a Mary Summon would have been my forty, but I will settle uh, for no my that's my too close because, because everybody's gonna time. say that Glenn Washington is like because they, 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 they don't give, when it comes to him and Beris, they don't pretty much give Glenn his passion. They say he sounds like Beris. Right, sure, sure, sure. As a matter of fact, if, if, I, may add, if I may add, I remember when Glenn, when, um, when Glenn Washington produced the Candice Wheatless album, and uh, it was given, I had Beris um, and, um, and, and Glenn Washington on here, and I interviewed them both, and and people were giving um, a lot of attention to to Glenn Washington album. Thought it was Beres. Mm. So, but, so you know, know, I, I know that I know that difference between the two of them. No matter what song is playing, even if I don't recognize the song, and they said, "Is that Beres or Glenn?" There is just something in their tone. Even right. though they sound and so much alike, there's Joe something that separates them. Jojo, Jojo, you're not running off tonight. You know, see there? Oh, you know how much minute gone? All right. Richie's, uh, Mr. Mighty, go on for Richie's fight. Richie's, Richie's fight. You know. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Uh, okay. Can you see that 25 minutes left? You know? You might not get in full half hour or 40 minutes. You know? He probably happy. Playing this one, not that you really need to know like a Richie Spice. When it comes to Richie Spice, I just Richie Spice, innit? Don't really need to remind you who Richie Spice is. From him touch the road, he's been relevant. Year to year singer. Could have played something brand new from the artist. And everybody would know it was Richie Spice. We've got his brand new album here to feature as well.
brand new album entitled Black Man Time. Right there, so right there in you know, Georgia. Are you are take it away, right? Yes, yes, yes. Well, the plain land, and together we stand to welcome a member of the Rastafari movement, Earth Around Red Artist, Richie Spice. Richie Spice, welcome to the UK Artist Link Up Show. Um, yeah, greetings, Jojo. Yeah, yeah. All right, you disappeared. Yes, so yes, every all of us did for a second there. I think the connection is not that great. So, Richie Spice, you are one of the Bonner brothers that includes pliers, spun up banner, snatch a lion, you know, with the that big Bonner name. How did you get the name Richie Spice? Well, well, you know, first, I must say, great things in the name of his imperial majesty and brass last year. We give thanks to life, life, health, and strength. Let all living things that move it and creep it about the face of this earth you're looking right now. Um, give thanks to having me. Give thanks for this time. Give thanks to this moment. Yeah, but um, my name is Richie Spice. Now, my name is Richie. And um, as they used to call me in, in my uh, at home, you know, as my pet name, you know. And, right. Um, yeah, we just use that name and you know um put the spice on it. Nice stuff. Okay, you know that spice variety I like, no? See it there? Comes in all kinds of flavors, right? Mm -hmm. So how did you get your big break? My big break come from his, his Imperial Majesty to um doing the constant work of his Imperial Majesty. You know, and um, Rastafari work and theory like that is currently um, it filter out because I didn't stop and I continue and um, it just broke out with the help of a lot of people like Element, Narita, mm -hmm. um, my brother, Players, Everton, Blender, you know, it filter right through, through nature. And we're talking about Fifth Element, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, well, you know, it's a panel of us, and since we are, you know, coming toward the close of the show soon, I'm not going to keep you too long, but Baya, Shaka friend, the writer, says to big you up, okay? Yeah, big up, man. No respect every time. All right, all right. So I'm going to pass you on to another of our panelists right now. All right, hope you'll come back to me so I can talk to you some more. For real, for sure. All right, Alan. Yes. Rich. Nice. Welcome to the UK Artist yes. Link, Mr. Mighty here. Yes, man. Yeah, man. It's Black Man Time now. Black Man Time now. That's the new album. Brand new album on the road. Yes, mm -hmm. When was that one released? That one released on the, on the 8th of September 2023. About four, two, four months ago, I think. And how is it doing? Great. It's everybody doing great. Everybody loving it because everybody put it in, you know, they, they, whatever they put in. You know, they said so they played right from the beginning to the end. Non-stop. Rewind, wheel up, pull up. Yeah. And right. of the album, do you have a particular track that is, you know, dear to your heart or one that you sort of favor over the rest? All of them is my favorite because there's cover version. That I've sang on that album where it's me, and I've, I always play. And, and, and songs that bring me up from a little youth growing up. You know, so it's a whole mixture of music where it's me. You know, there's no speciality. I mean, everything is like as a connect and a level, you know. All right. And you know what, Richie Spice, for years I've been looking forward to speaking with you in the business because you come in the business and you know, to me, I, I've watched you on stage many times because you are one of my favorite singers, you know, in the last, I don't know, 10, 15 years. And 
I see that you keep your thing, you know, upon a certain level. You you not you not you not try race over this of in a fashion or over this of in a fashion. You just keep it upon a real rootical reggae rasta level. And I admire you for that. But you know what I want to ask you is I always say when because I'm a radio um presenter, right? So in my show, when I play yes. your songs, I will I will always say one of the coolest man in that business because I see you how you perform. Um, I see your stance. I don't know you personally, but I always say you've got this cool persona, and even your delivery is effortless on stage. Like you don't even have to open your mouth too wide for hear the the, the the melody and the sounds and the tones coming from you. So I don't know if anybody's ever told you this before, and I would like to know what you think of my. That's my perspective of you. What do you think of that? Well, apparently, well, I, 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 I don't want to open my mouth too wide because I'm not too cool like that. I'm a fireman. <laughs> so when the fire come out now and, and it, and it burns now, you have to be careful how you burn because you don't want to get too wide and burn everything. <laughs> you know, so you have to just keep it nice and easy every time, you know? Okay, that's why you're so re you seem yeah. so reserved. That's why you come across so reserved, yeah, yeah. so know, cool, so calm. So, you don't mind me calling you like the coolest, the coolest in the business. Like, I call you the no, new yeah, cool ruler. No, 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 no. I mean, the, the, uh, if I say cool, now you're going to say the arm. Um, but I say the more calm, a fire. <laughs> you now left the fire not one inch, not one oh, inch. The fire off it in it. Play next song, them is my Play next song off the album. All right, I'm gonna play another tune of the album, Richie. Um, and then I'm gonna hand you over to another one of our palanists because we gotta keep it moving. Um, this track I've got here. Num. It says number fourteen on the album, Black yeah. Man Time. Happy New Year. Yes, sir. All right. Let's drop it. Let's do this. Like how we so fresh in the year already. Drop the New Year song. Happy, happy, happy New Year. Oh, God bless you right to the year. From the calmest fire in the business. <laughs> Rich Spice, live on the UK artist link up. That one All right, now from we're about we're 2022. We're that one they drop a road, I That's do it. believe. So we're gonna hand you over to That's somebody cool. else on the panel right now, Rick. Ready, live to the world. Okay, let's continue. So, who's taking over? Um, Kabusa, Rich, Rich. I'm taking over. Uh, or mute your phone, mute your phone, Mr. Mighty. Thank you, thank you, of course. Thank you. <laughs> Richie Spice. Thank you so much for joining us on the UK Artist Link Up show. This is a Kambusa. Nice, yes, nice, nice. I have to to uh, share the album. However, I think you will so you send it to my um, email because I'm also a, a radio DJ on other on, on other stations. But I love the name of the album, Black Man Time. The Mr. Mighty. Yes, Jesse and I, 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 I'm just. And, the, and this album, I think you you, you need to listen to this album uh, because this album has so much many um inspiration and so many um musical arrangement 
Yes. I mean, which means, you know, that is what we need right now in the music because the music lost all that arrangement and the original people that used to make that music from that time up to this time has been um, like them throwing the towel and some people give up and you know, die out and them all mm -hmm. these things. But we keep thanks, you know, that people like Clive Hunt and all those people and Lenky, Marcy and all those great musicians is still here. Yes. Who could, could um, participate on this album mm -hmm. and make it be what it is right now to give out there to the people so, you know, people know that good music is still playing around, around here, you know? Coming from Richie Spice, of course, it definitely is. Yeah. And um, Black Man Time, that's a, the, the title track. How did you, you know, come up with the name of the album, though? Was it... Um, well, mm -hmm. apparently... Um, I think in um, 1963, mm -hmm. uh, when Emperor Celestia um, gathered, I think, 32 officials, official lists in, 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 in um, Addis Ababa, mm -hmm. you, you know, to join this little peace mm -hmm. thing, you know, and he came here in Jamaica in 1963 to, yeah. um, see, to seal it. You know, and um, the year that I put out this album was um, 2020, 2023, which um, says Black Man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so 2023 Black Man. So we use that old farmer um, organization, yes. you know, and connect the whole thing together. Yes, yes. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I, I like that. Can't wait. So is there any collaboration on the album, Richie? Or is it just yes, we have collaboration, collaboration with me and Capitan. I have a collab with uh, me, uh, me and Charlie Black, Capitan. Nice. Uh, me and my brothers, players, um, Chakadimas and players, you know, players, players, yeah. um, Spana Pana, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, quite a, quite a few collaboration on this album. Wonderful. Definitely looking forward. Mm -hmm. I also do album launches, so definitely I'll be you know, linking up with you to do, to do one. Um, yeah, so going forward in terms of, you know, touring on, on this album, anything set up for 2024 yet? Because, you know, you have fans all over the world, um, Richie. So where can we see you? Well, apparently I'm just working, you know, because I, I, can't, I can't just pick one place and say, yes, I'll be there as I'll be there because people want the music worldwide, so. Oh. I'll be tapping there and tapping it over there and tapping all over promoting all the album. Looking forward yeah. to that. All right. I'll just turn you over to another member of our panelists. But it was definitely a pleasure talking to you, Richie Spice. Yes, ma'am. Likewise. Richie Spice. Sir. I'm Captain Kirk from Miami. Greetings, my brother. Yes, sir. <laughs> Greetings, Miami. Richie, take us back to 1998. 26 years ago, um, your own lyrics, The Mark of the Beast, a woman sneaking on a man's feet, the revelation time, check the signs of the time, you know, feel the heat from the city, how the youth, them are let in the street, and now it's a things now go sweet, my brethren. Um, those lyrics stand today, 2024 and beyond. We see it on the streets of Kingston, we see it on the streets of Montego Bay, we see it in the streets more often than before. When you were writing this song, which is Spice, I mean, how did you? Even imagine that, that we were earth around red long time, but it even went around red and know than before. How did you write? How did you foresee what's happening today, 26 years ago, that this song I've covered and still covering like Bob Marley globally? And then we see it happen in, in um, we see it happen in uh, New York, we see it happen in uh, California, we see it happen uh, all over uh, the world. Uh, exactly. Uh, with this shooting. And, uh, mm -hmm. That's my point, yeah. Uh, does Jamaica alone it happen? It's a uh, global. Yeah, globally, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, vibration, but this vibration now and those words now, I wouldn't even take no um compliment, no, no, no reward for it because it's not me. It's just the works of his imperial majesty. You know, and God used and I as a vessel to send out the word sound out there to the people as a one, not a one, you know, and um and it sent out there. But you know, I only I only glad to know that, you know, 
if you felt the mind was there to help me to um push it out there so it got worldwide and extra broad. So the people can really hear that um you know, hear the words. Hear the words and the words reach out there, you know, and um people could hear it so they could either, you know, draw up themselves together or they don't care, you know. Positive abrasion, that, that, those lyrics will forever continue uh, beyond the next 50 years, just like Bob Marley and Bob's uh, songs. Uh, final question to my brethren, um, do you play instruments? And if you do, does it help you to be a uh, better writer, better organizer, better musician? Yeah, I play instruments, but in my events. Mm -hmm. I music music always up here in my head. I play beats all the time in my head. Mm. Uh, but physically, I don't play on a physical instrument like that. All right. Well, give thanks for the time, my brethren. Continued success, huh? and we will always support the Richard Spice on ear, off ear, especially, like I said, I, I play your songs them constantly because the message is in the music. And uh, uh, when, when, when you set a solid foundation like that, it, it, it must go on. So give thanks here, sir. Love, love, my lord. Keep on playing the music and keep on supporting the reggae music here, sir. Bless it, McKay. Yo, Richie, bless up in the richest place. No yeah, flow. Yeah, man, seven east to the world, you know what I mean? The support more yeah. forever. Marlon, Brando, and again. How is, how is mother? Because the last time I see it was in Jamaica. It was you and your mom. You have a passion for your mother. How is the mother? How is the family? My mother, they dropped from 2012. My mother, they dropped flesh, though. Wow, yo, yeah. blessed, I know you were close to her. My question my to you, sir. No, no, my mother, we keep her. Um, my mother, her, yeah. Way, no, it's her mother, you know, still alive, you know? Yes, yes. I want to ask a question because you've just said this album, Black Man Time, is very, is full of a lot of great um, brothers and sisters who have combined talent with your talent. I am yearning to see, is there a song between yourself and Anthony B seeing that Portmore is the capital for both of you? Is there a combination out there that I don't know about or is there one in the pipeline working on? Yeah, there's a combination out there with me and Anthony B. I think it was on his album, there's a reward. Yeah, yeah, so there's a combination with me and Anthony B out there. And I think it was produced by Anthony B. And I think mm -hmm. it was on his album. It produced uh, with um, uh, Donald Dixon. He died past away a couple of years. You know, but it's on his album. It's a nice song. Marvelous. One last question. Fifth Element has been has brought forth a very good, you know, um, Chuck Fender Anderson yourself. I remember when it just started, the Donovan, um, or Devon was his name, and it was going good and everything. Um, you're still signed to that, that family group? No, no, okay, I'm not signed to that group, but apparently, I mean, we still play music together and thing, and you know, support the music on a level where it's me. You know, it's a Thank musical you. form of vibration, you know, than yeah. signing thing, you know. Okay. Jojo, I don't know if you have yeah. something else you want to ask, Jojo. Yeah, we want to play, play our next song and then Jojo just come in. Jojo, All right, we'll do that. Second. We'll that sounds like a winner right, right there. Yeah. Perfect. Our next one, Mr. Mighty, and then Jojo come in. You know what? Look for years and hurt Africa Africa Mother Africa So have a good time Come have a good time I spend some good time in a Kenya So have a good time I had a good time I spend some good time in a UK So have a good time I had a good time Come have a good time in Kizu So have a good time have a good time, I have a good time in my robe. Beautiful sight scenes, streets are so clean. Mm. I watch flocks of birds flying by, trees are so green. It's what I mean. Mm. Have a good time, I have some good time, I spend some good time in a Kenya. Let's have a good time, come have a good time, I had a good time in Nanuki. 
Let's have a good time, come have a good time, I have a good time in Kizumo. Come have a good time, let's have a good time, I had a good time in Nairobi. As I pass through the equator, heading on to Nanunki. Straight to Mount Zion, start to sip your lion. Let's have a good time, come have a good time, have a good time. In Kenya. Fire, baby, fire, baby. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Mikey Spice, that was definitely a feel good track, Rich, right? Richie there. Spice. Richie Spice. Spice. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, darling. I just had, I just had Mikey Spice on the interview. And... <laughs> I know, Richie. <laughs> what, what, what I'm saying is. Uh, we just heard that feel good track right there, and you know you're you're always coming out of the woodwork with something special. What's on the agenda for 2024? What what should we look forward to, your fans? Oh, all the bad things then have a I mean, this album will be from 2023 to 2024, so you know, like we'll be out there um, performing and working this album and promoting it. You know, and and I'm um, cementing it, in, in, cementing it in of of the ears of our fans, so the people can really type of music. You know, with real vibes, real sound, right? And and and, and, and music with sense and meaning. We're we're definitely we're definitely missing that. So that's something to look forward to. So any tours once the album comes out? I album is out from the other day, and as you say, we're tapping our cross. You know, the album's out from September. Oh, okay. Uh, so Jojo, Jojo asleep. So, no, Jojo not so sleeping. We, yeah, so we're tapping all over, and so that everybody gets a little piece of the spice. All right, all right, all right. So, there, the, you know, the, the reason I ask is I heard couples that say earlier that you know, the launch of the album. So, you know, I, I, I probably missed what the answer was on that one. Yeah, but yeah. Richie, yeah. but Richie, we're so happy to have you there. Um, is there anything that we didn't ask you that you want to tell us, Richie? Because, you know, sometimes we miss out on something important because we didn't ask. Before we, before you even well, got there, sir, well, uh, Richie, before you go there, before you go there, let me just ask you a question, please. Before you tell us yeah. something that we didn't ask you that you want the people them to know. Um, that Mother Earth track, it, it, it gave me a feeling like you know Kenya well or, or other parts of Africa. Have you spent time in Kenya before? Yes, man. The song was, um, just as we were saying, you know, where you in Kenya? You know, we passed the same, um, the equator. You know, we are, we, 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 um, as we say, we head to Mount Zion. Everything that you hear in the song is reality. It's not nothing that, you know, makes yeah, sense, you know? It, it, it's what you've done. You're not just singing for the sake of it. You, you were mentioning no, certain it's places, Kisimo. So everything it was, is what you did. Everything it was, um, it was natural. If I was there, that. Same thing happened. And oh, is, okay. is um is Kenya the main place in Africa you've stayed and spent time, or is there other parts of Africa that you know just as well? Um, I've been. I mean, I've been to Kenya more often than other places. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it, it is a place yes, you're in the change. You know, people know me like that. All right. Yeah. Then. All right then. Yeah, it's good um, to hear that yeah, you're actually yeah, going yeah. to to Africa because a, a lot of singers sing about it, but they're not really about it. But I can hear that you're really about it. So, yeah, man, big up, kudos for that. Yeah, man, yeah, I'm really Africans, man. I'm really Africans. Like, oh, yeah, um, people, people ask asking when you last you come to London, Richie. How long now you don't come to London? Ah, uh, how long now, man? I think it was about. Probably a year or something, I cannot remember vividly. I cannot remember right now, but it wasn't for a long time. It wasn't for long. I think I did a show there. I don't remember the name of the show, but I was there. 
So, so as my last question, as my last question, um, Richie, I want to know: Is there something that you know you 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 want to tell us that we didn't ask? Because sometimes we we skip things because we don't know what's in the woodwork. So, well, what's in the uh, woodwork that we didn't ask I mean, about? I mean, I mean, you know, apparently, if you want to reach out to, to me, it's um, one Richie Spice, you know, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. I mean, my email address is richardbanner at gmail dot com. Um, we still are telling people that it's a one love as bad man, we said from earlier. You know, mm -hmm. your brothers and sisters, keepers, love your neighbor as yourself. Don't you take your, your neighbor wife. Um, be kind to each other, you know. Um, keep on doing what you are all doing there. You know, as we read your personality, keep on supporting the reggae music, which is the um, grassroots of our music. That um Billy in our nation or on in our country. Just keep it up and enough love and respect. It was a pleasure here being with you, a pleasure talking to you all. Enough respect. Yeah, man, same here, Richie. And next time the plane land, give a girl a call, okay? I will. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for being on the show. Uh, big we up totally Richie, appreciate big up, big you. Up. Give thanks, yeah, Richie Spice. Thanks for taking time out. Yeah, yeah man. Big up. Big up, my boss. Take Bless care. Out of love. Out of love. Every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. We've actually, we've actually come to the end of another show. Wow. Yeah. Um, Jordan, you can big up um, that, that. You can big up that Monday. Um, when you... The flyer. Upon this something that flyers they were missing, baby. That, that man, <laughs> okay, that, that, okay, that, that okay. Such man. That's such man. That's such man. That's such man. That's such, man. such man. Oh my god, you say such man. Hold on. Oh, where is it? Where is it? I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I, I'll do that. So I'm trying to click on it. All right. So. Pipsy Promotion presents comedy play Man Problem. Starring Keith Ramsey and, and if you don't know who Keith Ramsey is, that's a big bad Shabada, okay? It's gonna be on February twenty in February twenty twenty four and these are the dates. Friday the second at Harrow Zo what is it? Zoroastrian Center? Yeah. Yeah. Zoroastrian Center and then Saturday the third at Catford Broadway Theatre on Friday the night at Hackney Empire on Saturday the 10th at Croydon Fairfield Walls Halls rather Croydon Fairfield Halls and if you're interested in getting your tickets early contact 07749 so it's 07749 2855. Let me say that again. 0774-954-2855. Or go get your tickets at, tickets at Eventbrite. Access UK as well. Oh my gosh. Um, and I, I can't see this one. Shoobs. And at Shoobs, you can get your ticket at yeah, Shoobs as well. Yeah. Yes, yeah, and, and tickets are only 37 pounds and 50 pence. 37 pounds and 50 pence. That's Pipsy promotion, comedy play, man problem. You know, if Shabada in it is big things, yes. Go out and support the lady. Shabada can't act. Just go for the play. Go for the play, okay? <laughs> yeah, and next week, no, we have our. Uh... Think I will just. Uh... And next week, we have on the roster, we have, let me tell you real quick. We have, oh, Jaja, who we have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jaja, we yeah, have Jaja, Jaja, go there. Yeah, Jaja. Jaja, no. Jaja is always here. Jaja is always here. Yeah, you might get a special feature next week. Come on, Musa, read it, all right? <laughs> Angel, and we have what's a Kwame Ultimate that's next week, 
January 18, right here on Silk Radio. And who are the extra right. special guests that I pass through? Because you know how oh, Silk's there already. Yeah. We're going to have Shelly Ann with the tea. And who else? Who else? Big D. It can be um, Steph Landon, Madam Muma Landon. Muma Landon. And somebody else, you know. Them say somebody else again. I don't know. Oh, that's going to be the surprise. That's going to be the surprise. All right. Oh, this. Shibby. They'll definitely okay. see who that is. Yeah, <laughs> yeah guys, Sushman. 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 Yeah. But guys, right. before, I, before I come off, you can catch me um, tomorrow, 8 o'clock US time, Jamaica time, 1 a.m. UK time for Get Some Radio for the Kambusta Radio Show. So make sure you catch me there. Follow me on all social media, guys. Kambusta underscore production. On, on Instagram, Kambusta, on TikTok, and on Facebook. And, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Kambusta Sevafidus Production. My brand new song that really was released in October, Never Knock Out by Desai Boy. That's out, guys. So go and listen to it. And Imar Shepard will be dropping his single on the Sevafidus Production. I'm going to get a copy of the tune. Next week. Uh, I will send it over to you, Mr. Mike. Yeah, and um, Captain Kirk and Ross G and Hexel and the whole artist them. Everyone, so you guys can support support Kambusta. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Love you all and see you next week. Bye. Kambusta, send your send your email to Mr. Mike to make him send the album. I've got I, I've got uh, I've got Kambusta's oh, email address. Yeah, I, I got it. Have, okay, I got that. Spice um, album. I just saw it. Um, yeah, right. I got okay, Ras G, send your send your email in the in the chat room. Make some money to get it and send it to you. All right, tomorrow um, morning um, breakfast. Captain, captain, send yes, yeah. Well, I know, Mr. Yes, send me the captain. Send it to Mr. Mighty. Go on, Mr. Mighty. Breakfast now. Breakfast tomorrow here. morning. Cabbage with some salt fish, some fried mm -hmm. plantain. And fried that breadfruit. Is. And that we are served. That's on the menu. Fry, That's part of it. Fried breadfruit. So warm to, warm to the Fry plant and fried breadfruit. Uh, cabbage and salt a, fish. A huh? Pear me used to, you know. So me, you yeah, are pear. Say yeah, pear. Pear. Yeah. Me never said nothing about pear. Not, no, you never said pear. But me want pear. But pear. Pear. Yeah. Yeah. Pear. Not, that not upon my plate. Okay. That can be on your plate. You know, yeah, pear always there. You know, you know it go already. You know what I mean? Anyway, we're serving and breakfast from Polka, 7 till 10. Polka, you know, some daddy asked Mr. Mighty if it's if he said fried breadfruit, and then I realized my thing was on. Did you say fried breadfruit? Yes, darling. Fried breadfruit and fried I'm plantain. I'm, I'm coming over. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're there. Your thing, your Is thing, it? Your yeah. thing in your bed. So I don't know where you talk about your thing never hand. Your thing hand all the time I wait for you. I'll wait the Rastafari. Let me put it this way then. It was not buzzing. It was not buzzing. Jeez. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> 7 till 10. Vibes FM. Silk Radio. Yeah, man, we did it. You don't know. Streaming right here at Silk Radio. And you know, say, yeah, man, catch me for breakfast. Tomorrow night, Porky's Wine Bar, you know, is the place to be each and every Friday. Ladies, you're absolutely free. It's a January sale. Absolutely free for the ladies between 10 and 12. Absolutely free. Five pound thereafter. Gentlemen, five pound between 10 and 12. Five and 10 pound thereafter 12. All right. So, gentlemen, you don't know. Right. Tell Trust the woman them, them can come in free, roll in, and have a good time. All right. Until 12. Ras G. Oh, just then five pound after. Tomorrow, Ras G. Where are the tomorrow, Ras G? Find me on Instagram. I just got yep. a, a, a TikTok account as well. You know? So, I have to talk about it. Me just, just made a TikTok account. So, find me on TikTok. Father Mighty, Mr. Mighty. I you know, so we're on Instagram, oh, we're on YouTube, on all of these really? places. Like, oh, subscribe. Richie Spice, especially in, in like everything. the interview, we say, be a fire, be a fire, Richie Spice. Be a fire, be a fire. A fire. A fire. Fire. Yeah. All right. Rest G. Rest G. Fire, baby. Yeah. Fire. Um, this week, we kick off our carrier key um, thing, you know, and then, you know, we have the regular um, Strictly Reggae show that's going to be on Saturday, 1 o'clock, right after the clash. So, it's a, it's a park weekend, and we're, them say we have a, a, we're looking out for heavy weather this weekend. So, we're just packing it in and linking up with the Silk Creator family. Everything good over here, man. All right, Captain. Yeah, me, Genoa.
Respect as always, respect as always to the panel. Great, great, great conversation, big team. Mr. Mighty, you might want to catch a flight, you know, I hear our flight from, 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 from America to, to London, you know, but, um, I think Jojo Mac and see if we can, you know, Jojo Mac can take a flight and, uh, the breakfast thing there. <laughs> that's about a week time, you know, brother. Oh, you mean, and the wings of love, we say. You see that? Oh, when you're the parade, when you're the parade, Captain, because since you're supposed to join you, when you're around, when you're coming. I, yeah, man, I'll tell you, man, you know what, my brethren, um, I'll give you the information no later than this weekend. Yeah, the engineer from Waves, I set up the studio at my house. Uh, I in my in my weapon right now, we put uh, everything in place. Because I remember now we, we link with I and everything. Uh, so I put everything so we can, we can have the, 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 the Comrex box to make the, to make the international link them. So once him put everything in place, then we're good to go. So we just talked to him this morning, motherfucker. So, you know, I'm my weapon right now. So give me that little week. Okay. All right, Jojo, come in. Well, you know, you can find me every Monday, Monday and Tuesday night, eight, 8 o'clock on energyradio1.com, out of the box with Fenton Troy. So, otherwise than that, you can find me on Facebook at Jojo Mac 11, um, Instagram, Bad Singer Girl, Jojo Mac, The Jojo Mac on YouTube. And of course, check out my website, Jojo Mac Music.com. New album, it's no longer new because it came out last June. Art and Life, of course, it's a beautiful album. I'm getting rave reviews about it. I just wish more people would stream it, of course, and check out my books Secrets, Mixed Up Moods and Deadly Attitudes, and Part Two Secrets Unmasked on Instagram. On, um, sorry, what, what, what you call it again? Amazon, right? Amazon. Yeah, on Amazon.com. On Amazon.com, okay? And, you know, we have lots of stuff in store that I can't tell you about yet. But, yeah, there's a lot of stuff in store. A huge thank you to our streaming partners. Oh, my gosh. UniqueExtra.com, Connection Radio New York, RG2.com, Flavor FM 94.2, BAM1Radio.co.uk, Musical Heat Wave, Fresh Radio Vibes out of Indiana, RJR FM 98.3. Thank you to all our guests for stopping in and sharing with our audience. Shalom. Sexy Danger, Richie Spice. Thank you so much for dropping in. Yes, and for, you know, just be giving us a part of yourselves. It's a big deal for us. A big thank you to Shelly and Quran T. Thank you very much, Linkies, for your constant support. Keep it coming. Yes, thanks to everyone who supports.